What's good, everybody? This is your boy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm running a little late. Um, I wanted to start off the podcast. Some of you uh, probably was uh, listening to my birthday podcast, and my friend from college got on, and she sung uh, Rain by SWV. And she said if she could come back tonight, she would. Well, she's unable to come back tonight. However, I asked her if it was okay if I play a video of her band performing. And don't worry, she's singing the lead vocals and playing keyboards. So what I want to do is play this real quick. Uh, so y'all just check her out. And then after this goes off, uh, I'm going to have my first special guest. And it's not going to be who you think it is. Like the last couple of weeks, we're like, oh, we already know who your first special guest is going to be. And it's not going to be who you think it is. It's going to be somebody different. It's going to be it's going to be real chippity choppy. If some of y'all might know what that means, I'll just leave it at that. But check out Andreas band. It's called uh, Soul to Paul Project. Uh, this song is called Give It Up. Uh, let me do this. And I'm going to pull myself out. And I will be back after the song is over. Your life is higher, your love is greater, nothing compares to you, nothing compares to you, Lord. Your life is higher, your love is greater, nothing compares to you.
Sexual chocolate. That's all I can say, man. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> I'll let the credits go up so that y'all can see all the people that that's in her band. Let me uh, go back again. Hold on. All right. Here we go. Let y'all see the credits. Written by Andrea and some and Chris Phelps. All right. And um, just let the people get their credit. We're going to let the people get their credit, man. All right. Lead guitar, Keith Williams. Just so that y'all know, that's Andrea's uh, husband right there, actually. Okay, now, if y'all want to check out some of the other videos that are on Andrea's band, they, they have other videos. There's uh, There are other videos. I'm going to post a link. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Hold on. So I meant to go do here. Y'all watch me making a mistake, right? Don't y'all love it? Okay, <laughs> but I'm going to give you a link to the channel. Hold on. Here we go. This is where I was trying to go. And I'm going to post it. So y'all go ahead, check out her page with her band, and um, and subscribe, man. Let's, let's post. If y'all really enjoyed that, they're still together. So, like, they, they still doing their thing. So um, definitely give them a check out. But now it is time to bring on the first special guest of the evening. And I already kind of gave it away when I said we'll have a chippity chop old time. There you go. There you go, Mr. Chippity Chop himself. <laughs> what's going on, Mike? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? What's good? What's good? None, none much, man. None much, man. What's popping with you, man? You keep talking about you, 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 you feeling I'm I'm trying to push you away and everything. I said, let me um let me just bring this dude on real quick. <laughs> uh, Y'all kick me to the curb. You only bought me on right now because you feel sorry for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, exactly. Man. Yeah, I was like, oh, poor Mike. Let <laughs> no, me man, put Mike on. Just kidding, oh, just kidding. poor baby. Just kidding, man. I don't need the attention. I don't really need the attention, man. I was just messing <laughs> around. Man. Uh, are you in Philly? Or did you? I know you said you might be in Columbia today. No, nah, I'm home. Okay, home chilling. Yeah, I don't, man. I don't blame you on that one. <laughs> Bruh. Well, what I wanted to share with everyone, and I'm trying to bring up the screen real quick, is how I, I, I figured a lot of people are new to the live stream. And so I think some people will love to see the backstory of how this panel that comes together, a lot of us that you, a, a lot of times you see the same people on the panel. Right. And I think it's cool for people to see how we all came together because most the only person that ever comes on my panel who that I've known my entire life is my cousin James. That's, that's the only one, everyone else. <laughs> I don't know them. I I've never met them personally. Uh, the relationship that we have, whoever it is, it was met through this YouTube channel. Right. So right. I, I figured I, I said, well, everybody like, likes kind of look at you as like, yeah, it's like this live streaming. Cool. Unless Mike is on it. Right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so I, I said, well, let me um go back to how Mike and I um oh, look at Nathan. Nathan in the uh, chat <laughs> saying, James. <laughs> That is a story James. in itself. And we could actually do, we could actually tell that story after you tell mine. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That would be funny right there. Oh, it looks like uh, Sabrina bought somebody and it says, um, Tarita Mosley, welcome. It says Sabrina bought you right. one. Uh oh. So Sabrina bringing people up to the chat. That's what there I'm talking go. about to the live stream. We're trying to teach everybody how to play the piano. I see, huh? <laughs> but welcome, uh, Tarita. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If I'm not, when Sabrina comes on later, She'll just lay me out and say, boy, do not mispronounce my friend's name. So, but welcome. <laughs> welcome to Rita Mosley. You're going to have some fun. We argue up in this joint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's but let me, um, but, but uh, 
tell me, uh, Mike, how do you remember? Well, let me ask you this, Mike. How did you discover the channel? What was the video that I did that made you discover the channel? And you can tell that as I'm looking for the, you know what I'm looking for. So okay. Well, um, actually, I was, I was, I wanted to learn how to play a certain song. And um, I, to be honest with you, that's been over a year ago, almost a year and a half ago. And I can't remember exactly what song it was. But I'm looking on YouTube to see, like, okay, well, what key is this in? And blah, 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 this and that. And uh, it came up piano tutorial. So, uh, and one of your videos, Pi, I can't remember what song it was, though. It might was You Are the Sunshine of My Life? No. It, oh, oh, it was a different one that you saw. Okay. It was exactly. a different one. Okay. Right. And okay. um, I think it may have been, uh, I think it might have been Gil Scott Heron or something like that. Gotcha. I think okay. it might have been Gil Scott Heron, Pieces of a Man. Yeah, I, I have and, that uh, video. Okay. Yeah. And that's how I learned how to play it. But that's how I came. You're welcome. Up. You're welcome. Thank you very much, <laughs> sir. Okay. And for those of y'all, actually, I do have a video of that on my YouTube channel, M.A. Harris 900. I do have a, a video of me playing that song. I used to have my piano and stuff. I used to have all of this stuff downstairs. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I used to have all this stuff downstairs before I came up, you know, before I bought it upstairs. But anyway, um, so I'm sitting here and I started looking through a few more of your uh tutorials so i already knew how to play you are the sunshine of my life but i wanted to i i seen that you had a video up of it and i wanted to see what your spin on it was and see if you played it the same way that i do uh -huh. because there's one part that uh there's one part that stevie does uh there, there's an old video that he he was on the dream machine and he was playing it i think it was over on the bbc and he was playing it and the way he was playing it is different than what you hear it like on a recorded version or whatever Okay, that's the way I wanted to learn how to play it, and you had it on there, and somebody started talking about the people who were singing the lead vocals in that song. Oh, that was me. That was me. Right. But yeah. Well, so so let me stop you right there. So uh -huh. let me. Um. So so okay. So we're on. <laughs> you are the sunshine of my life. So let me bring up a copy of the the uh, tutorial. So let me play a little bit. Let me see if I'm at the right spot. Let me see something. Hold on. Gentleman singing. That's Jill Gill okay, and all on. of a sudden you hear a female. Check, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm I'm trying to my life by Stevie Wonder, but in parentheses, there's two other I'm names. I'm going to back up just a little bit it's more. Uh, right, here we go, y'all. Listen if to this. If you're looking in the top right hand, oh, I'm sorry, top left hand corner of the screen, it, do, it does say you are the sunshine of my life by Stevie Wonder, but in parentheses, there's two other names. Jim Gilstrap and Lonnie Groves. I decided okay, to just didn't them from here. I just want y'all to listen to what I say because this is the reason why Mike and I know each other. Well, what I <laughs> did you hear what I just said? I just said that okay. Well, actually, this isn't it's not this, but it's coming up. The reason how Mike and I started talking about okay, I just named two names of the people who sing You Are the Sunshine of My Life. The original recording with Stevie. Now pay attention to what I'm about to say. Include their names because those are the voices of the people you hear that start the song. First you hear a gentleman singing. That's Jill Gilstrap. And then all of a sudden you hear a female singing. That's Lonnie Groves. A little lesson that I just learned just now researching this. Jim Gilstrap is the same person that is singing the theme song for Good Times, the TV show. Dum, 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 dum. This is it. Did you hear what I just said? I, for those of you that didn't hear it, I said, Jill Gil, I mean, I'm sorry, Jim Gilstrap is the person who sent the male voice you hear on the theme song for Good Times. All right, let me let's finish listening to what I said. Okay. So, da, 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 da. you know, <laughs> temporary layoffs, good time. That's him. I had no so the same dude that's singing that is the person we hear singing on You Are the Sunshine of My Life. Okay, so that's what I said before I started teaching the song. If you want to learn how to play You Are the Sunshine of My Life, all you gotta do is go on YouTube, type in <laughs> You Are the Sunshine of My Life, and then type House of Jazz next to it, and you can see the whole video. However, I got a comment from somebody in this video. <laughs> now, those of you who know how Mike is, you know how passionate he is, right? So I'm getting all these nice little comments that y'all can see, you know, nice little comments, right? <laughs> and then you get down here to the bottom and you see somebody named Mike Harris, right? How many um, replies are there to this particular comment? Yeah, about 15. Nine, it, it was, well, hold on. I, when I made the screen big, it covered it up. Hold on. Let me scroll back down. 
because I, I want the screen big enough for people to see it. So let me scroll back down. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Come on. Come on. Come on, screen. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't stop acting like an Apple computer. Come on. I want you to act like a window. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. So there's nine. It says nine replies, right? Okay. So let's take a look at some of these comments that I got. (laughs) Okay. Let's take a look at some of the comments I got. So I'm, I'm, you know, um, is this the first one? It does list a different female vocalist in the one I mentioned. Well, where's the first one you said? Hold up. Let me make sure I got the all everything. I hope none of these things disappeared because it's gonna it's not gonna be okay. This is what she okay. So Michael Harris, this is the guy named Michael Harris says that information is wrong on the talking book album credits. It's uh GC Cameron and Lonnie Groves singing that intro. I know how to play this song, but I'll soon make uh another video using the court map. It's a fantastic job as usual. So he still gave See, me. I gave him big ups, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, he gave me credit. Right? He gave, he gave me props for 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 playing the song right. <laughs> so um, so I I re I replied back right now. I want y'all to understand this is the first time Mike and I is you know this is our first conversation. It was it's, to say it's, eleven months ago. <laughs> yes, it's online to this day. It's this is our first conversation. So I said, "Cool beans." I look forward to hearing your rendition. Notice that I didn't even come. I didn't even say anything yet about uh, what he what he had just said. All I said was, "I look forward to hearing from your rendition." Which I never then I got up. somebody named Jazz and B Flat. This is somebody who I talk to even on Facebook sometimes. He said, "Odd," oh, because I looked up the credit listing for Talking Book at several sites. And they all list Gilstrap, right? Which is what I said, right? Y'all remember that, right? <laughs> so it says, um, talk, okay, yeah, 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 okay. I don't believe all of them are referencing Wikipedia because we know Wikipedia, that information is wrong. You and yeah, you and I can go in there and change it to say whatever we want. So that's the reason why. So, but it right. says they also list all the other musicians as well, which Wikipedia doesn't. I know GC and uh, Gilstrap sound a lot alike. Nonetheless, I think Gilstrap is correct. Okay, so notice I didn't start that. Okay, so and then I come back in and I chime in and I say, uh, yeah, I couldn't find any information about GC Cameron. For those of you who don't know who GC Cameron is, he is the original singer of It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday from the Cooley High movie that Boys the Men remade in 1991, where the original writer of the song and singer of the song is G.C. Cameron, okay? And if you look at Cooley High at the end of the movie, you'll hear the original version of the entire song at the end of the movie. Unfortunately, when they're um, paying their last respects to Cochise. But anyway, okay. So, um, <laughs> so I, I come back and I say, yeah, I couldn't find any information about GC Cameron singing the Stevie tune. Most of the information about him is the fact that he used to sing with the spinners. And of course, let me make that bigger. The big hit that without a shadow of a doubt, we know it's him. You know, it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. I just told you that that was his big hit. Right. Other than that, not much is said about him except for the fact that he's sung with the Temptations in the 2000s, I believe, for a certain amount of time. So, you know, that's all I said, right? But here come, here come Mr. Big Old Again. Bad Mike. Here come Mr. <laughs> Big Old Bad Mike. He comes back and he says, again, it's G.C. Cameron. Not uh, Jim Gilstrap. Uh, not not <laughs> Jim Gilstrap. And I'm like, so in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, Okay, so I got a jerk right here because this dude is just not going to let it go. And remind you, I, this is my first conversation with him. So I'm like, oh, my goodness. So wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let me stop you right here. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Y'all see what it says on this screen. What did I say? Speaking of talking book, you should do a tutorial on You Got It Bad Girl. That song is awesome. That's on that talking book album. And okay. yeah, they'll do a tutorial on that. But go ahead. But you, but you didn't pay me for it, man. What are you talking about, man? I'm going to pay you all right. I'm going to pay you no mind. 
Nah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what you do right now. And you paid me no mind when we had this conversation. And that's why you had to come back and eat some humble pie because right. you didn't pay me no mind. But that's okay. That's okay. Go ahead. Because no, okay. I, I got to tell everybody how, how this got settled. <laughs> okay. So I came back and said, I found a copy of the talking book CD cover with the liner or linear notes um, online. Here's a link to it. So let me see if I can bring it up without too much of a problem. I'll say open in a new tab. So I sent him. Okay, it's gone now. Okay, so whatever it was. But believe me when I tell you, at the time, it was a picture of the actual album cover. Right. Okay, so where you could actually read all the credits. So it's not there anymore, but okay. But it was it was a real link, and he confirmed it was a link to the album cover, right? Yeah. So Jazz and B-flat says, Mike Curtis, not sure where you're getting your info from but the album liner notes i mean credits gilstrap gc and sarita wright duo on i want to be by your side produced by stevie hint house maybe <laughs> referencing that i think he was the one that paid me to do that to, to, i eventually did a tutorial which on you did song. do and i learned how to play that song off right of, yeah how to play that off of your tutorial thank you very much oh uh, you're you welcome that, that, that's what he meant by saying hint house because i think right, he had paid right. for that tutorial. but and i did it i did that tutorial so yeah you did I look that one up you did okay so let me why is this not scrolling okay it's not the last, it's, that was the last the, the last oh, okay okay so that was the end of that conversation let me bring us back on so eventually i'm on a live stream right and this dude named mike curse is in the chat just like y'all in the chat right now right and he was like hey can i get a link to come on the panel i want to tell you something right now, I can't, it's, it's, it's still online, but I couldn't find which video he did this. So I'm going to let him tell you right now in this live stream what he had to say to me the very first time he ever came on this panel. Go ahead, tell me. Okay, well, number one, you weren't doing it on StreamYard. You were doing it on Hangouts or whatever that was. And it took, me a, while, right. took me a while to get up on there, but eventually I did get up on there. I believe Mayoli was on there. Yeah, he probably at that, was. At that particular time, and I think D might have been on there. So I come on and I say, okay, because I'm sitting here arguing with these folks. And I'm like, that's GC Cameron. That's GC Cameron. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We know for a fact that the female singing the beginning of You Are the Sunshine of My Life is Lonnie Groves. All right. Now, I'm friends with GC Cameron on Facebook. I do not know the man personally. However, I do know a few celebs and, you know, through contacts here and contacts there. We wound up linking up on Facebook. I never talked to the man except this one time because I said, look, we're going to put a stop to this right now because I'm going to give them the fact and I'm going to let him because I was going to take a screenshot and everything. And <laughs> I mean, I, oh, I was going to let him have it. Right. Um, of course you were. Of course you were. I took him a couple days to answer me. But the question that I asked him on Facebook and I wish that I could pull it up because I I'd sent it to him on Messenger. I said, look, okay. will you please settle this argument for me? Aren't you the guy that sang the beginning of You Are the Sunshine of My Life with Lonnie Groves? Uh -huh. I hope y'all listening out there. Book. I hope y'all listening. L listen the answer to I got back, he said, that's not me. That's Jim Gilstrap. Oh. Oh, he said, that's Jim Gilstrap. And I was like oh. this. I was like oh. this. You know how like. You know how, like, on the Flintstones, like, the more that somebody talked, the smaller you would get, <laughs> the more he said something. He's like, and, and such and such and such and such, womp, and such and such, womp. <laughs> and he was like, no, that's not me. He said, I sang on some other stuff, and I've sang background on some of Stevie's songs, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But he said that the song that I had, that I did, where I was out in the front, was uh, I want to be by your side with Sarita Wright, Stevie's first wife. Uh huh. Yeah. So I yeah. come up on the panel and I say, hey, "Look, I got to tell y'all something that I'm uh, now. Yes. Look, they right. didn't ask me to come up on the panel so they could give it to me. I said, right. well, let me get up on the panel because see, I'm yes. a nice guy and I can admit <laughs> I'm wrong, okay." <laughs> and I said, "Okay, look, guess what? I got news for you. You guys were right." I'm sitting up here eating it, and that is not GC Cameron. That is Jim Gilstrap. So that is true, and that's that's how we met. That's how we met, and we've been doing these live streams and ever <laughs> since. And, uh, I mean, you know, for the longest, I was up on my iPad and 
sometimes I couldn't even hear the thing because uh, it's it was all chippity choppity. And I mean, you know, within the past year, I have to say this because of jazz and because of some of the rest of you who are on the panel. And I'm talking about like D and Brandy and all those other people who, you know, who I'll get down with. I've become a better piano player, uh, especially since we started doing these chords and these challenges and what have you. Uh, that has opened up a few things for me uh, on a personal note. Yeah, you, you guys have to remember, I have been playing piano as long as the rest of you have. Um, you know, I've been in the DJ and in that kind of stuff. I, you know, I've always tinkered around with the piano, but I've never gotten serious about it until recently within the last few years since i got out of military so uh you know because of house of jazz and some of you other great folks who i've come into contact with on this medium i've become a better piano player so i want to thank all of you guys for that i thank you all for your company even arguing with james james and and and, and everybody else you know i i i do have a, a i definitely have a good time uh, hanging out with you guys and learning from all of you. So I had to eat some humble pie. That's right. I had to eat some humble pie and you know whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay. But, so what? you were okay. Right. I just want I just wanted everyone to understand how Mike and I came, you know, how we you know found each other. So and that conversation is still on or in the comments section of my tutorial for you are the sunshine of my life. So if you ever want to just revisit it, just feel free to type that in, type in House of Jazz next to it. You'll find a video. Go to the very last comment and relive this. Okay. Whatever. So, Whatever. Now, jazz, Jazz, I'm not giving Dallas Cowboys no love. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not, no, we're not even going to go there. No, no, the Eagles, no, no. I only have this yeah. Eagles jersey on because it's hot in here and I got it, you know, I can't be, that's the only reason I got this jersey on, so I don't, don't even go there. Uh, we, we're not doing that tonight. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, i like to just thank everyone who is joining us uh, for this chat. I'm going to scroll up and say hello to people who I didn't get a chance to say hi, and then we're going to begin the conversation. Y'all saw that the title of this live stream something about which key do you feel most comfortable playing or something like that it's called that so i want to start that discussion if you have not gone to my community tab on my channel you can go there and cast your vote right now uh i don't want to show it on my screen because my screen shows the results of the vote so far so far i have 46 people who have voted on which key is their favorite key. All you um all you have to do is go to my community tab and it's the, the the very top post. You'll see a question that says what key do you feel most comfortable playing in? And then it says tune in on Saturday's live stream to discuss the results, okay? So go there now and select your key. Now, unfortunately, YouTube only allows me five different options for a poll. Like I can ask a question and I can only put up five different you know answers so the um so the ones that you can click on is either c major e flat major f sharp major or g major and then i have none of the above but in parentheses i said post your favorite key in the comment section so if your key is not listed all you have to do is go to the comment section of that same poll and just type in what your favorite key is so if you have not done that yet Please do so now because I want to re reveal the results of that after Mike and I have a discussion about it. I'm going to bring in some other people that may want to join the panel. We'll all discuss it and then we'll take a look at that result. And then uh, by that time, Sabrina should be on too. I know Sabrina is the one that's kind of like producing my live stream now. She's the one that's, you know, like, okay, we want to do this, do this, do this. So once I bring my producer on, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I pay her a lot of money too. I really do. Um, zero dollars and zero cents. Yeah. <laughs> it's like zero dollars and zero cents. You know, she, she is like the highest. I mean, I've never had anybody charge me this much before to be a producer, but uh, she'll, she'll get us into our music lesson for the day. All right. So whatever the keyboard lesson will be, but um, just to make sure I say what's up to everybody. Quay, what's going on? Christopher, what's up? Um, Larry, the, oh, photo G. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, he did change. Oh, man. Sabrina was the one that told me his name is Photog or something. And I said, no, I like Photo G. So he fixed it. So his name is Photo G. Cool. That's what's up. All right. <laughs> he changed it. All right. Um, oh, somebody earlier, like before before we even started, said that they bought a. Uh, that was uh, him. Oh, OK. No, it's Quay a mod X back at X8. Quay McQuitter. Oh, right. Oh, OK. Quay, that's a good. Oh, OK. My bad. Where did where where did he originally say? Oh, okay. That was in he, the six Mo X eight this past Wednesday for seven hundred. Oh yeah. wow, you got what? Well, and it's the eighty eight key version. Oh wow, man, you did better than me. You did better than me because I paid slightly over a thousand before taxes, man. So yeah, you you, you got a good deal. Um, one twelve DZ, that's my boy. One twelve. Tragic, <laughs> tragic tragic beats. What's going on, man? Uh, and some of you already said what your favorite key is. I'm not going to scroll back up. What I want you to do is to just go to my community tab, cast your vote there, and then we're just going to look at the final results. So I already have 46 votes, so let's get some more. And start looking for that maybe somewhere between Wednesdays and Thursdays before the live stream. Uh, Sabrina and I will get together and try to figure out some more polls, and we'll discuss that poll on the live stream the following Saturday. That that said, I shouldn't say following, but the coming Saturday. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so go there and just cast your vote there. And then if any of you want to talk about it in the comment section <coughs> any more, you know, any deeper, then we'll go into the um discussion. Um, Mikey music. Oh, we got another mic in the house. Oh, he was talking about um when the video was playing. Right. Um Nathan, hey Nathan, I I believe I have access to your video, so I will play it. I will play the video as soon as my producer says I can play it. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, but we will play it. We will play it. Um, uh, I already talked to Tarita. Um, Ron, music for life. That's the homie right there. Ronnie, Ron. yes, that's the vocoder man. If any of y'all tuned into my live stream birthday cast and y'all heard what was it the lady in my life song with the vocoder that was ron yeah he did um, the other day what was that for your birthday right yeah that was for the, my birthday chas jazz okay i think i called everyone if i missed you i apologize hello thank you everyone for joining and for those of you let me just say this uh thank you again for the birthday for those of you that came in some of y'all sent in donations for my birthday via super chat my goodness. And then I had the people that came on and sung some of my favorite songs. I'm still waiting for Sabrina to sing Have You Ever. But um, <laughs> uh, before, before the other ones, I, I really appreciate y'all uh, <laughs> just coming on and just hanging out. That was so fun. And if you uh, missed that live stream, it's still on. You know, just go to my, you know, go to my channel. You'll see it and check it out. It, it was, we had a good time. It was under three hours. Just oh, under man. three hours. <laughs> it oh, wasn't. Man. It wasn't five hours like normal. But Actually, okay, I was sleeping. I thought I was late, man. It came up on there. <laughs> and you guys, well, everybody was going, man. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good, man. So happy, happy birthday again to you, there, brother. Right. Birthday blessings. I appreciate it, man. So I'm going to come to you. So we're going to talk to Mike first, and we're going to ask Mike, what key do you feel most comfortable playing? Uh, probably for me would be A. Uh, trying oh, to A major. Usually, you don't hear that from keyboard players. Maybe guitar players, maybe, but not keyboard yeah. players. Okay, well, for, okay. for whatever reason, man. I, you know, I going back and forth with these songs and stuff that I be doing and be working on is I always come back to A for for some reason. <laughs> it, it always winds up, always winds up on A. Some some way somehow it's either A or A flat. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Okay. Uh, but I do like the B flat though. <laughs> All right, that's what's up. That's what's oh hold up. Uh okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, um, let me go back and for me, the reason okay, the, the key that I it, it's selfish reasons why this key is probably my favorite key, but the song that I when I first started learning teaching myself how to play the piano, the song I really wanted to learn was on Bend the Knee by Boys and Men. And I mean, the song was their current single, and I really wanted to learn that song. Couldn't find the sheet music anywhere. I just started learning how to slowly 
read sheet music like real i couldn't even read the guitar chords on the top i literally had to go every good boy does fine oh okay that's f okay uh f a c okay that's c uh okay every okay that's you know i literally was had to do that right. and for christmas uh that year someone found the sheet music uh, a friend of mine named brian glock as a matter of fact i don't even mind putting his name out there Found the sheet music, and that was his Christmas gift to me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you to this day that had to have been Christmas of '94 because that's when Boys the Men's two album came out. So, right so from that time was when I was looking for the sheet music. So it had to have been '94. I promise you that was the best Christmas gift I had that year, and it only cost three dollars and some change. Right, because that's all sheet music bro. cost back. Then. I, and how do I know that was the best gift I got? Because I don't remember anything else I received in 1994 Christmas except on Bend the Knee by Boys and Men. So here I am, 20 something years later, still talking about that gift. Did I best ever, gift you I ever about got. the studio session that I did around Christmas of 94? I think you told and me. Dude, you and and, and uh, Mike McCary was in the studio. We were all in the studio, and yes. Mike McCary was working with the, uh, with the Spanish group. And he asked y'all to turn it down. So right. that was yeah. Too loud or yeah, yeah. You told us that we were in the other room. We were in the other room uh, singing on bended knee, <laughs> messing around shooting pool and messing around uh, singing on bended knee. Right. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. But my favorite key. But when I got the sheet music, I saw that the song was in the key of E flat. So since that song to this day is still my favorite song in the world, uh, then my favorite key is E flat. Now, I see that 112 DZ just said C minor. That's interesting because C minor is the relative minor of E flat. It's The mm -hmm. scale still includes E flat, A flat, and B flat. So I guess I'll add C minor to my favorite key because it's the same scale. You just start on a different note. So now, when I you would say, say E flat slash C minor. Go ahead. When you say C minor, I mean, like, what, what does he mean? That's his C minor. It's his favorite okay. key. So that's C. All right, well, let me give a really, really super duper quick lesson. Uh, I'll, I'll give a quick keyboard lesson since you asked that because it shouldn't take me long. And this still, I'll still have to be doing a different lesson. I'm not even sure what Sabrina is going to have me doing tonight, but whatever. But this, I'll, I'll do this one real quick. Okay, when you're dealing with a minor key, mm -hmm. um, every major key has a relative minor. And I, and when I say relative minor, just think of relative minor. Let me zoom in so people can see the keyboard better. Oops, I meant to do. Is it this one? Yeah, or is it this? There we go. Okay. All right, this is the best one. So um, every major key has a relative minor. It's almost like they're cousins. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're cousins. So basically, your E-flat major scale is E-flat, F, G, A-flat, B-flat, C, D, and E-flat. The right. three flats in that scale are E-flat, a flat and B flat, right? Right. Well, there's a minor key that has those same three flats in the scale. Okay. Okay. And whatever that key is, we call that the relative minor. How do you find the relative minor of any major uh, scale? You go to, for this, since we're talking about E flat, we'll start mm -hmm. with E flat. And what you do is you go to the left three half steps. You okay. count. One, two, two three. three. Whatever note speech. you land on, uh -huh. that's going to be the relative minor. That means this minor scale, which in this case is C minor, right. also has E flat, A flat, and B flat, B flat. as the accidentals of that scale. Gotcha. So that C minor scale is C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. So I still uh, use the same three accidentals, but I started on C instead of E flat. So ooh. that's why they're called relative minors because they're relative. They're, they're like uh, cousins. I see. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, All yeah, right. we got the same family members. Yeah, we got E flat, A flat, B flat. What's up, ooh. cuz? What's up? And, 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 you know, oh, right, yeah, you, right. you're my relative. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, right. okay. so, 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 that, so that's just a little quick lesson right there. Nice. Um, stick, stick around. There's probably be another lesson coming up. Uh, let me switch my camera back to my big old head. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, but yeah, that's what it is. So hopefully, um, for th some of you, maybe that might be the first time you ever heard of that. So yeah, so that's the easy trick. So, um, yeah, so he said C minor. So yes, definitely. 
I wish I'd have had enough. I wish I'd have had more time to hang out with one twelve when I was down there, man. That was just last weekend. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what I want to do is, is start to invite other people on the panel so that we can get some other people's ideas and their input on what key, what their favorite key is. Mm -hmm. So in a couple of seconds, I'm going to bring Sabrina on. I think she had to step away for a second. But when she comes back, I'm going to bring her on because she is backstage. And uh, for those of you that normally get the link, to be on the panel just check your email i sent it out like an hour ago or actually more than an hour ago so if you want to come on just come on the panel then hop on along and, we, and now we're going to get the discussion but i'm gonna go ahead on and bring sabrina in right now three two one i hope you're ready sabrina ready or not here she comes ready or there not. she go oh we caught her drinking oh, look at that. we caught her drinking look at that drinking I, 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 I knew she was a drinker i knew she was a drinker no, it's blueberries. <laughs> chip it chip oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's blueberries. Yeah, uh -huh. what <laughs> blueberries with what mixed in it? Uh -huh. oh, listen, hey, but when y'all were talking about the minor and the relative minor, remember we were doing yeah. the, we were doing the um, so if you get on the actual home key, say I'm on C, remember we said uh -huh. use the phrase under the C and you'll find oh, that yeah. minor. So if I'm on C, I'll just take every note and go under the C. And then now I found the relative minor for C, which is A. Okay. Let right. me give let me give the people a visual because I never heard this until she told me this a few weeks ago. So let me give you a visual of what she just said, just in case y'all didn't understand what she was trying to say. Um, basically, is it this one? Okay, there we go. She said, I, I'm, I'm gonna say E flat. She said, if you want to find out what the relative minor is uh, of E flat, you start with E flat, and mm -hmm. then you you go. You you play you play E flat and go under the C, right? Okay, uh, and whatever okay. note you land on, it's you know that's the relative minor. So you can either do right. it the way I told you to do it by just going one two three, or you can mm. go to the major key and go under the C C minor. You can do that with any key if you want to know what the relative minor of F nice. major is. You can go under the C, D minor. That means D minor is the relative minor. Now, again, what does that mean? Well, if you know your F major scale already, and that's F, A, G, B flat, that's your accidental, right? Mm -hmm. C, D, E, F, right? So the F major scale only has B flat as an accidental. That means the relative minor, which is D minor, has that same B flat in it. So the D minor scale would just be D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, right? Right? And if you really listen to it and play with it, you can kind of hear how they're relatives. You know what I'm right. saying? It, yeah. to, the, it, to me, you can kind of hear it, but that's the technical thing. So that's what Sabrina was saying, that you could do the under the sea or you can just say one two three that's a pretty good tip, man i can use that i was i was uh mm -hmm. i'm working on learning how to play uh this dion warwick song it's, it's, it's an older song uh, luther redid it uh anyone who had a heart mm. oh yeah i you Wait, know man. what let me see i have Hold a on. tutorial here's the funny thing i have a tutorial on the dion warwick version of it because yeah, someone paid me to do that, but that's the one that they wanted me to do. And okay. I was like, but I love Luther's version. I love so, Dion Warwick. Well, actually, I love both I know, of them. No, 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 Warwick Dion is cool. Yeah, Dion is cool, but it's like the very first version I ever heard was Luther's version. And when I tell you I fell in love with that version, dude, I love that. It didn't want to so the very first time I heard um, Dion Warwick's version, of course, I was like... Mm. It, so but it, then when I listened to it a couple of times, I was like, okay, I get it. I get it. Burke Bacharach wrote a lot of those songs. Let me see if I can get this. See, can can y'all hear that? Yeah, we can hear it. Thank you. 
to show off for y'all. No, it, dude, it's, it's <laughs> no, I want to see whatever. it. Well, no, um, you were sounding good, man. You were sounding good. Uh, so, uh, If you go on, uh, if you go on Netflix, there's this movie, dude. It is so corny, but it's funny. It is so corny, it's funny. It's called Love Jacked, right? I saw the dude, preview and it, I put it in my playlist to watch later. Yo, but I haven't that, looked at it yet. I have point, not looked at it. I'm yet. not gonna give the movie, but, 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 but it's on my. It's, it's in my. I put it on my list so that when I get a chance to see, I looked at the preview this morning. I was like, yo, I want to see this. Yo, <laughs> so don't I tell me swear. nothing about I'm it. Don't tell, tell me nothing, nothing about, about it. Movie, but I'm going to say this. That song is in the movie. And that's what. Oh, okay. I, that's why I wanted to learn how to play it. Because, I mean, of course, we, we, we've we all heard the song before. Yeah. Luke or Dion's version. I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can learn how to play this joint, man. And right. that, that's where I came up with it, man. Oh, man. I, I was I was cracking up, man. Yeah, man. You but yeah, you movie, didn't, you yeah, didn't see. But you didn't see that I did a tutorial on that? At least no. I think I did. I you think have, I did. I'll double check. You have 6,000 tutorials. Exactly. Nobody. I mean, like, dude. I, I, um, uh, can, can you get that straight? That's 7,000. No, I'm just wondering. Uh, I do not have six or 7,000. Now, maybe 1,000 because it does say I have over 1,000 videos uploaded. So it's either 1,000 or close to 1,000. But, um, you know, because some of the videos are live streams. You know, some of that 1,000 videos are right. live streams and other stuff. But the majority of them are well, you know, we piano almost, tutorials. We almost got Mike to sing. I heard a little tune come out of him while he was playing. Oh, that's right. My, my mic is singing a little. Oh, speaking about somebody singing, y'all about to hear somebody sing tonight that just refused to sing to me for my birthday. Oh, and, and, but but she claimed she loved me and everything, right? She claimed Ooh. nothing but love and that she was going to sing this song. And she decided to upload a video just before this live stream. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to for, when it's time for me to put her on blast. I'm going to lay her out on the live stream <laughs> and all love. Though. Mike is gonna be all love. Mike ain't singing nothing. Mike is sitting up here drinking. I'm drinking <laughs> Coca Cola right here. Too. Well, you know what? Since you do have to play Nathan's video, and then Mike, yeah. should be give an opportunity to play one of the songs that he learned from the channel. Right, he did. He just got finished doing it. He just did it. He sure did. Yep. That was no count. <laughs> Actually, I, I can I can do that. Um, I only have I only have one power cord, and it's hooked up to this laptop right now. So I turned my stuff off. Let me turn this laptop off so I can have some power. Because I, I will play one joint that I did learn from you. In fact, the first one that I learned from you, I played that. Okay. How about that? Let me, right. let me let me let me shut this computer down. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I want to ask Sabrina now that she's on. I wish I could have caught Ron. I hopefully, Ron, hopefully you'll come back on. Uh, Sabrina, what key, uh, since you came up with this poll, what key do you feel most comfortable playing? <laughs> How about you, Cher? Let me tell you. So I was learning one of your songs. Um, uh -huh. Um, what, what did I say earlier? It's a church song. It's like e for every mountain. For every mountain, yeah. It's about 47 minutes long, his video, but it's worth every minute. And let me tell you, so it graduates to different keys. And as I was playing, it first starts off in like F. Starts off in F, I think. I I'm know. not sure what it started off with. Don't give me a lot. Hey, I'm still in. I'm going to just stop the camera for a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's okay. cool. So it's like, uh, I'll turn this up. For, for every mountain. You better sing, girl. Oh, let me hear that you really hit that run. Oh, so anyway, make a lost something. Okay. Uh, oh, for this. Do it right, Sabrina. Get it right, sweetie. <laughs> mm hmm I got that old lady church look on my face like. Yeah, I'm just going to leave y'all hanging on that. But I said all that to say, then when it goes up, when you have to go. Uh, wait. Wait. How did I forget? I literally forgot the song. Like, I've been playing this for the last six hours. So it's like. Yeah. Hey, girl, you better go ahead on. 
You saw me do that. You saw me do that keyboard face look like. Oh, you know when you hit that right chord, be like, oh snap. <laughs> oh no. Something for this I give you. Anyway, G flat made me love that song. Okay, so I after I played that, I was like, I love all the black keys. I was like, oh my goodness. So that's my new key. So you said G flat is your new key? Yes. After all right, that. all right. So G flat's a new key. <laughs> the black keys are kind of funny because it's it's almost like with the black keys, it doesn't matter what, what you play, it always sounds good. You can literally play all of them and it doesn't sound bad. I'm literally playing every black key twice. Uh, and let me show, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all so y'all can see I'm not lying. Hold on, let me switch. I'm literally playing every black key twice. Check this out. Wait, let me And it still doesn't sound horrible. Now I'll admit that, that that does not sound like the most prettiest thing in the world, but it still doesn't sound horrible. So it's like almost any combination of black notes sounds good. That's not the case of all white keys necessarily. Go ahead and play I'm, I'm, I'm just going, I'm playing, I'm randomly just playing different notes. I learned this when I was teaching myself how to play the piano and I was only like 16 years old. I figured this out real quick. I was like, wow, I can almost do anything I want with black keys. And it sounds it, it sounds good. Now it's, it's it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's musical it's music it makes musical sense, but it doesn't sound bad either. <laughs> yeah, and it's like it's not going to create a complete song just doing all those. But I will say right. there's a song if you do starting with um, so starting with F F uh, F sharp, you like to call okay. it flat. Right? I like to call it G flat, but okay, okay. But go ahead. <laughs> so remember that song. Every praise is to our God. All of oh, it. Yeah. Every praise. It's to our God, every word of worship. Oh, I'm sorry, what's his name? Play all the black keys and show them that it's the first five black keys. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Every right. praise. Oh, you talking about the little walk. Hold up. Um, now, let me see if I can remember it, because it's been a minute since I played it. It's... Isn't that it? Well, I so there's a white key in it. It's not... You got to go from D flat to F. So you'll go... Uh, uh, Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to show. That's Nathan right there, y'all. Who's the brother with the <laughs> yellow tile? <laughs> that's Nathan, though. That's that's Nathan's. I had it queued up. My bad. But anyway, I, I clicked on the wrong button. Let me click this. This is why I was trying to click. I think. No. <laughs> I'm trying to click this. No, I'm trying to click. There we go. That's it. There we go. Okay. So we got. Bop, bop. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Here you go. Bop, 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 bop. Sing hallelujah to our God. Whatever the words are. To our God. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. And then eventually you take the key up, don't you? That's what I was saying. I forget what it is. And you go, and it rains. It's to our God. Every so now you're in the next key in D, uh, G major, maybe? I think that's G major. Every praise. Every praise. It's to, no, D major. I'm sorry. You're in D major. And then you take it up again and go, every praise is to our God, every word of worship with no. one accord. No. No. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, no, there's a Shelton Garrett. He said he loves bubblegum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, you just, oh, because somebody <laughs> giving you the the, 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 the starry eye, the, the, the heart eyes, like, oh, oh boy. Yeah. But you do look good, good, though. I ain't even going to lie, girl. You look somebody good. But back to you singing every praise, though. Trainer. Look, 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 yeah, she did look good, but back to every praise because we're talking about God right now. Every praise, <laughs> I mean, she's cute and everything, but we're talking about the Lord right now. I think he to we're be talking right about here. the Lord, All right, sitting up there trying to get a groovy groove on eating blueberry. Uh, well, of course, they're going to do that. I mean, <laughs> hey, they, they can't, I'm sure she's used to it, so it's all good. 
Yeah, Sabrina is nice looking though. I'll give it as what did I say? What did I say? Oh, it was a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, like, a couple weeks ago. You... Who, who, who is he? Yeah, that's what she said. Because she was that was the week that she went on a cruise. Yeah. And he was like, Where's that attractive young lady what? that's on here? Yeah, where I'm like, wait a minute, I'm he sure you did. Uh, you guys were sitting up here chatting with the attractive one up in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then that's when you said that every time you come on, she leaves. Remember? Yeah. He was yeah. like, Oh, she must don't like me because she leaves every time. Kick me to the curb. No, no, I'm gonna play this back and watch. I'm gonna have some blueberries stuck in my teeth the whole rest of the video. That's okay. That's all right. We'll just think that you're missing the tooth. That's all. It's all good. It, it, you know, it'll just look like you're missing the tooth. That's I'm having blueberries stuck right there. Nobody's gonna tell me. Oh, hey, check this out. But he loves you, though. Yeah, hey, uh, he, he loves you. Oh, he plays the bass. We can start a whole little family. Uh-oh. Whole little family. Uh-oh. Uh oh, he oh, loves you though. Now, I'm telling oh, you, and we're gonna turn this into the love connection over here. <laughs> Chuck Woolery, Jazz oh, and Chuck Woolery over here. We'll, you want to go out on a date? We'll pay for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, if he if he wants to take her out on a date, he better pay for it. I don't know what he, mean. he better if you're gonna be the man, he better pay for it. Ooh. But we're not talking about relationships and how that's supposed to work right now. Ron, they What's like- up, Ronnie? Ron, <laughs> what's going on? How's everybody doing? All right. Man, we just trying to be like you when we grow up, man. We oh. all just want to be like you. We oh, want to produce Ron music Troutman like you. House. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ron, Ron Troutman. Troutman. That's your new name, man. <laughs> your new name is Ron <laughs> Troutman. That's what it is, man. Mike, you ready? I'll, I'll take it. But you know what? Since you're in here, I'm glad you came on. So you can answer the question about which key you feel most comfortable oh. in now that you're here before we look at the results. D flat, the church musician key. Yeah. You don't think you don't think A flat is the church musician's key? Also, okay, okay. E flat, okay. So <laughs> all flats is the church key. <laughs> Thank you. E flat, that, that A C flat, sharp? E flat, D flat. <laughs> but do you realize? But do you realize that usually, if a key is in, if, if for church musicians, if it's in D flat, they always say C sharp. Do you, yep, do you get that? I hate that. I hate that. I'm like, why do you say C sharp? Man, it's just say D me, flat. Yeah, somebody tell me A sharp, and I'm like, A sharp. A I'm sharp. Like, Are you not as flat, you? <laughs> just say B flat, talking about some A sharp. I'm like, A sharp, five of these across your lips. Like, Red, uh, uh, what's his name? Fred Sanford used to say on Sanford. And so, well, he didn't say, I'm going to give you five F sharps on the top, but you I'm know, give you five across your lip. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's Red <laughs> Fox, though. <laughs> How you like five of these across your lip? <laughs> So you said so, but you said for you it's D flat. All right. So so explain your reasoning for D flat. Uh believe it or not, that's the first key that I learned how to play in was D flat. I skipped okay. C. I just went straight wow. to D flat. Wow, that, that's interesting. That's interesting that you skipped C. I, I don't know. For me, D flat just has a I don't know, it just has a certain feel to it, you know. It just uh-huh. I don't know. It's just it's just so much you could do with it. It is. I mean, but whatever you can do in D flat, you can do it in any other key too. You just got to know the layout of all the chords in that particular key. So yeah, Which and then know? plus, and, and then plus for an organ player, it's easier for my feet to hit the um, the black notes. Hey Nathan, I'm getting ready to send you a um a link right now. So yeah, if you want to come on, definitely please come on. I'm sending it now. Now, what you say now, you, you're talking organ. Can can you talk a little bit about organ? Because I don't play organ. And you just made a statement about the foot pedal. So talk about that foot Ooh, pedal yeah. on the organ. Because I don't play organ. But since you just bought it up, tell us a little bit about that foot pedal on the organ. That's a volume, isn't it? No, no, what? not not no. not what well, there is a volume pedal that you use your foot to control, but that's not what he's talking about. Oh. Uh, All right, go ahead, yeah. um, Ron. Tell him. Yeah, the correct way to play the um the bass pe- pedals on the organ is supposed to be heel toe, but you know, I use my whole foot, but it, it's, it's a correct way to play it. Uh, especially with pipe organ, you really do have to use um, the heel toe method because the pedals are so spaced apart. So. Okay. Uh, I'd be too busy trying to learn my fingers. I ain't trying to do heel too. toe up on the, <laughs> It, but, but it will, but it will force you to to start courting with your left hand, though. Really? Right? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I can I can see why. 
it makes sense why it would force you. Nathan, I just sent you the link, man. Check your email. I just sent it. Please come on. If you're coming on, come on. But um, the the one thing about me, I there is there is an organ at the church where I play. I'm the only musician that's at the church, so I mean I have the option. But we also have a grand piano at our church. Oh, okay, not 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 an upright, but a grand piano. Though it needs work, it's still playable. So, what do I love better? Or and you know what? We need the po next week's poll question. It will probably say, "What do you like better, the piano or the organ?" Maybe I have to talk to my producer and see if she approves that. But um, that's bubble gum, by the way, y'all. But we'll see. Yeah, yeah. So, so stay, stay tuned. That might be the next question: piano or organ? Because I don't like organ. I don't like organ. But if you put me in front of a piano or a keyboard. I'm happy. I'm like yeah. this. If you say all you have is an organ, I'm like. But does it sound the same? <laughs> if you play the same song in the same key on an organ, it's not going to sound the same, right? The I'll let Ron explain this better. Yeah. I'm going I'm to tell you my opinion first, and then I'll let since he's an organ player, I'll let him tell his side. But for me, yes, the notes on the organ and the piano are exactly the same. Oh. Yes. Well, what C is on the piano. C is on the organ. Okay, so all the notes line up the same way, but there's a certain feel, a so a certain rhythm in the, the way you uh, approach the organ, the way you approach the chords, even the fingering that you're using. It, it's like it's, it's different. You need to do it differently for the organ. And the main thing that I can't stand about an organ is that it has no sustain pedal. I can't. I need sustain. Okay. I need to be able to sustain. Um, yes. Yeah, sus is that the right word? Yeah. Sustain notes when I play. And I just, I'm used to that. When I'm at a piano or keyboard, that's, you know, I can, you see how you still hear the note playing? Right. If I did that on an organ, this is what it would sound like. See how it's gone? No. On an organ, there's no sustain pedal. And that, kicks my butt i'm like how do people play the organ and they can't sustain <laughs> notes so but I'll, I'll let ron talk about the difference between the oh, piano and organ in the chat room Go what? Ahead. What's, up, D? what's up d and then uh nathan nelson said he still can't get Streamyard on his mac uh, nathan open up your uh go to google chrome on your mac and use that and you could get on Streamyard through that yeah, use Chrome. Don't use the um. Don't go to Safari. Safari. And it's funny. I I, I want to say this again because I've talked so badly about Apple products. Uh, now here you but, go. But, no, it's no. The truth. When I make this, and this is for future people that might want to come on the panel, Mike, you have admitted that this is the truth. When you're using Apple products, they don't work correctly with Streamyard. They get choppy. Now, am I lying? Am I lying, Mike? When, when you're using a tablet or your phone, because you right. can actually you can actually right. use Safari on your tablet or your phone to go to get in the Streamyard here, and uh, you can do it on those devices. But if you're on your computer on your laptop, go to Google Chrome and click the link in your email, like if you have a Gmail account or whatever, whatever your uh, address is, and then click the link. But use Google Chrome, not Safari, on your computer. But it's yeah, great. It, iPad it, it works, works perfectly on here. Right. What you say? That's because you in Louisville somewhere, and ain't no trees <laughs> and big buildings in Louisville. You just got the Muhammad but, Ali Center down there and the races, <laughs> so you probably get a better reception. <laughs> but the truth is, if you're using your Apple phone or you're using an iPad, even if you're using the browser, the Chrome, uh, can are you allowed to even install Chrome on iPhone and i? pads yeah yeah okay but even when people use that they still have issues like with you mike it, it's like it starts doing that's where you started saying chippity choppity all the time well, that's because i was on my ipad all the time that's 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 the point that i'm just trying to say like for anybody that's using apple products just use your laptop you can use your apple you know computer or laptop but, but just go through the chrome browser but if you use your phone or ipad this is no shape but you're going to have issues, so just keep well, that in Stream mind. StreamYard tells you itself. StreamYard mm -hmm. tells you itself that it's better to use a computer than to use tablets or or phones. It tells you that itself, so it ain't just Apple products, there, Fred. Uh, but people, <laughs> but people who use their phone, uh, are you using the phone right now, Ron? Uh, no, believe it okay. or not, I just bought a brand new 
laptop today for school. And, oh, okay. Um, like, it, it's a Windows based laptop. Actually. Oh man, you didn't mess up right there. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't have a choice because some of the labs that I'm that I'm taking on my online class requires a Windows based, you know, laptop. I wouldn't have never bought one on my own. It wasn't um, hey, Ron, there you go, okay. Ron. There you go. Now I got to go boo. I just got finished clapping okay. you up. Right. Now I got to boo you down for saying that. But anyway, <laughs> okay. for those of you who want to know that this live stream is always done on a Windows PC system, I got this big old box right here. But we're not going to get into the Apple um, $50 <laughs> fine. <laughs> He had that ready. <laughs> Who put that on? <laughs> no, no, oh man. Oh, I got. I got to tell you the story on this one. Wait a minute. Okay, what's the I story? Use, now check this out. Okay, this this is for work, right? <laughs> okay. Anybody doesn't show up for their appointment. Oh, you get this. Okay. <laughs> Look at this now, 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 wait a second. I used to come up to the front desk like, okay, it's such and such here. Their appointment time is blah blah blah. Oh no, they didn't call. They didn't show. Right? Nope. There'd be other patients in the, in, in the waiting room. I'm like, yo, man, that's a fifty dollar fine. Office manager was like, Michael, you can't keep saying that. <laughs> Open. So now I just walk around with this, like, oh, they didn't show up for the appointment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it, so I'll just show it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tarita, you just became my best friend because you just said you said I'm using Windows 10. You oh, go, girl. Man. You are invited on my stream anytime you like because you said the magic words. You said one of those things. Sabrina, thank you for bringing Sarita and I together in life. Thank you. I had some good penmanship. Can we focus on that? I had to write a couple of these. Yeah, that is very nice. Right? Hey, right. <laughs> wrong stuff. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all trying to y'all, y'all thought Ron couldn't write or something? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> Mike couldn't write. I'm sorry, I got the name. <laughs> sorry about that, that Ron. Ron probably can't <laughs> write. Right, y'all come up with the chords for the next week. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely going. Like, and, do like, not let me end this because the last two or three weeks we ended without picking chords. So I do not want to do that this week. At some point, we need to pick chords. Yeah. Now Ron sent me a track, so he did make a just a, a track, whatever. I will play that, but I want us to get some chords. So don't let me forget. I, I keep forgetting. Dang on so. producer, what's wrong with her? So no, man. What's up? Uh, producer? She fired, man. I pay her too much money to be letting me. Uh, forget stuff like that. All that money I pay her zero oh, dollars and zero cents. Before you, before you play Ron's video, please. Since we're all, I'm not playing it right this second. Okay, but since we're all piano players in here, and some of us in the chat room are piano players, let's give a quick rest in peace to the great McCoy Tyner who passed away yesterday, 81 years old, man. And if you yeah. don't know who that man is, please go on YouTube. He's a he's a guy who played the piano uh, with John Coltrane, and if you if everybody you know John Coltrane's song, My Favorite Things. McCoy Tyner is the man playing the piano. Brilliant, brilliant man. Uh, awesome job, man. And he passed away yesterday. Um, I am a friend of his nephew, uh, Colby Cole, Colby Cole Tyner. He used to he used to host uh, radio here in Philadelphia, Power 99 FM. And uh, he broke the news yesterday that uh, McCoy Tyner passed away. So. Rest this is peace. great. This is, my, uh, yes. this is Mike's uh, Instagram page, and this is what he looks like right here. Well, that's what he did look like at, at, at one point in time. But yeah, okay. I just I, I got a good picture of him. But yeah, McCoy Tyner's yeah. brilliant, brilliant pianist, man. Mm -hmm. Brilliant man. Much yeah. I'm, I, I, I admit that I'm not familiar with it, but any brilliant I'm piano not player is, is a friend of mine. You know, <laughs> you know yeah. I'm going to have to check but it you, out. You guys go on YouTube and just listen to John Coltrane's My Favorite Things. It's like 17. One of them is 17 minutes long. Another one's like 20 something minutes long. But oh, that's what's boy up. Tyner really tears that piano up. man. I mean, when you hear that song, that's all him, man. He really lights that thing up. man. He makes it sound brilliant. Wow. Cool things. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely now I'm definitely gonna check him out. Ron, I want you to go ahead on and explain <laughs> your um what, what you say the difference is between piano, playing the piano and playing organ. Because for me, I've had to sit at an organ before, like it was a funeral years ago, and I was dumb enough to not call ahead of time to make sure that they had a piano or keyboard there, and all they had was an organ. And you want to talk about somebody sounding like garbage and chippity choppy? <laughs> now that's the definition because there's no sustain pedal. Look, you, you, there's when there's no sustain pedal, my plan sounds chippity choppy. 
I, I don't even think I, I, I got paid for that funeral. I, I was I felt so bad. I was like, because it's like I can't play the organ. It's chippity choppity. <laughs> but anyway, Maron, can you describe or say what the difference is? The the approach to playing piano as opposed to the approach of playing the organ. It's you, it's on it's you, man. Okay. Well, the well, the organ is basically just an oversized, I guess, keyboard. And on the organ, you've got certain draw bars that you can pull to make different sounds out of the organ. It also brings uh, the octaves up or it lowers the octaves. Um, playing the organ, you can't approach it like you play a piano. Uh, you definitely got to use a lot of chord substitutions. And, you know, a lot of your root notes are done in your foot and not done on the actual organ. Now there is a there is a method to the draw bars. I have a I have a sheet to set up draw bars. It all is about what sounds good to you. Or mm -hmm. it depends on the organ also because there is different organs also. Yeah, but, but in the church we gotta, know but in the church the B3 Hammond B3 is what they always talk about in the black church that is, right? Yeah. That's what they all always talk about, but I mean, I, I can't tell a real big difference. I mean, you got some percussion buttons over there, but I can't never really hear any difference when you use them uh, percussion buttons. Okay. But if ever you want to hear the story on the Hammond organ, or if ever you want to read the story about the Hammond organ, it actually is an interesting story about how it all got started in the Leslie speaker also. Organs were originally made without the um, without the Leslie speaker. It just had a straight speaker on it. Okay. Well, a guy by the last name of Leslie decided to start making speakers with a rotating horn in it. That's where you hear that when you see him hitting that switch, that what gives you that wah wah wah. The tremolo, wah. right? It's like I yeah, guess, yeah. It makes this the horn spin, which gives you that sound that wo -wo 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 yep. wobbly sound yeah and ham and hammond hated that somebody had made you know that type of you know speaker for his organ because okay. he was trying to simulate the pipe organ and so that's kind of where you know the leslie speaker and the hammond now you can't buy a hammond without a leslie speaker these days Ooh, it, right. it, it don't it don't sound good without it right <laughs> Right, right. It don't, mm. it don't sound black enough. It yeah, don't sound right, like a black church. There you go. <laughs> well, I hear you, man. So yeah, so for me, yeah, I don't. Uh, it's I just like I'm like I said, I'm the only musician at my church. I've been there since the end of February 2016. So I literally just been there four years, like last week. <laughs> it was like four years, wow. and uh, I I've never played one song. In those four years on the organ now. So what do you wow. mean you to transition from playing the piano to the organ, or should someone start with the organ first and then transition to the piano? Or is it just you either play one or the other? I mean, I've seen musicians play both, but yeah, yeah. Most good musicians play both. That's the reason why I keep telling you I'm not as great as y'all think I am. Oh. Because I don't play organ. I'm the first one to tell you my opinion. I still think piano should be first, but that could be just because I'm biased. So it, I'm gonna let well, somebody that plays both answer the question. Well, I mean, it, it depends on what type of setting you're in. I mean, if you go if you go to a Pentecostal church, organ is the primary instrument. Mm -hmm. That's why that's I don't why play at a Pentecostal. That's why I don't yeah. play at a Pentecostal church because you're absolutely right. They, they 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 will fire me before I they hire me <laughs> if I come in there saying, "Well, all I do is play keyboard. I don't play the organ." What? What? Oh, <laughs> uh, Deacon, come, come here. Uh, uh, hey man, sir, 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 we we're not gonna be able to use you. I'm I'm sorry. You, God bless you. God bless you. That's the reason why I stopped messing around with church, man. When I used when I was stationed at Iceland, man, I used to sit there and I used to play with uh with another piano player in in church, man. And you know, I just couldn't I, I couldn't deal with it because you got this so called choir director up there, and she got to run everything. And we tried to put on a Christmas show, and you know, she wanted us to play all of this other this Kirk Franklin nonsense it's like look every song ain't got to be a kirk franklin song but i thought okay the minister of music oh, you're going there okay jazz okay. Oh, i was just directing i was just directing the choir but go ahead yeah, it's, it's that one person man it's just got to ruin it for everybody man it's like look, you know what i can't mess with this 
I thought by default the piano player, he's not the minister of music, but no, no, not it all the time. It, it not really all the time. depends on it depends on what church you're at, man. Like in my church here, uh Donald Robinson, he was the music director at our church, man. And Donald's uh, you know, he, he's not there anymore. He's at a different church now. But uh yeah, I mean he, he was he was the guy who, you know, the pastor, of course, was the one who's like, All right, look, this is what you you got this is acceptable to us, but you know, you couldn't get a lot of good stuff in there that it, everybody could have listened to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like some, you know, like you, you had to play a certain a certain list of songs that the pastor would allow up in there. You know, stuff mm-hmm. that he liked. You know, of course, of course, that kind of thing. Right? You know, stuff that was acceptable <laughs> to him and all. Of well, that. well, but to be honest with you, at any church you got to play stuff that, that they want to hear. To be honest, absolutely. With you. Absolutely. It really is. I mean, it, whatever the denomination is, you can't go in a church that listens to CCM music mostly and try to bring in some black Pentecostal stuff because they'll look at you like, right. no, that's not, right. no, we want, we want Michael W. Smith, Amy Grant. We we don't want <laughs> hey, we don't hey, want John P. Key. They go hey, like we don't want John P. Key. What are you talking about? Hey, hey it's it's so funny you said it. I remember when um yeah. when my son was in high school, he used to go over to this church because he played for the basketball team. Well, anyways, I, it was a white church, and I met the pastor stuff, and she said, Oh, you I heard you play piano. Your son told me blah blah blah. She yeah. said, I would love for you to come on. Wednesday nights, you know, for the youth Bible study and play. I said, okay, cool. Man, I got the plan. You know what? I normally play my jazz chords and all of that, and it did not fit the environment. <laughs> it went horrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got was the jazz and the like, uh, and stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we was trying to praise the Lord and everything, and uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we 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 couldn't feel that, sir. You had to look at it from this standpoint. I mean, like you know, churches will put a tight rein on that because actually, Lucifer's biggest talent was what music. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's yeah. That was his yeah. thing. His uh, body hey. was made out of instruments. They said in the Bible. His body was made out of instruments or something, so he was like the chief musician. So, you so we to, really uh, got to be, really be careful with that, man. And that's yeah, we really have to be awesome, careful you know, with like, the gift that we use because, yeah, the absolutely. chief enemy of God now, was, we'll a musician, was a chief musician. Was I a chief never will forget this, man. I never will forget this. One time I, I left church and all of that, and uh, we're in the car, and I had uh, Stevie Wonder as was playing on, on the on uh-huh. my, you know, I had a CD in there. And lady said to me, she was like, now, how are you going to just come out of church? How are you going to come out of church and all of a sudden you sitting up there playing this? I said, let me tell you something. Oh. If Stevie wanted to walk into that church and started playing that piano, the whole church would be rocking. So <laughs> don't mm-hmm. even go there. <laughs> like, don't even go there. Just because I'm coming out of church don't mean I can't listen to Stevie Wonder. Right. Right. Like, I can right. see if I was came out of church and was listening to 50 Cent. <laughs> like that. That'd be different. That, that blank, blankety, blank, blank, blank. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difference. And, and Nathan hey, Nelson, Nathan I'm so upset right. with you. But Nathan, I'm because you you going to say you didn't send me a link, and then as soon as I send you a link, I still can't get on because I have issues. I'm like, come on, just come on. Nathan, you know you can get on. You've been on the live stream before. So Nathan ain't gonna come I need on you to stop playing. Until James shows up so they can yeah, start you've arguing. Been on, you've been on. The, it's been a while, but you've been on it, man. However well, you James logged on. on here every week. Yeah, yeah though, however you logged on the last time, Nathan, just log on the same way, even if you can't show the video, because I know you have a lot to say on this subject, man. So Don't worry, Nathan. I have my son to log me on to. Right. Well, yeah, Sabrina has her son that helps her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why she didn't get on here. Time did you set it up? <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. But yeah, Lucifer was the worship leader. Yeah, for real. Uh, of heaven, right? So yeah, we got to be careful. Well, I can't get on since you started Streamyard. Oh. I can't download. Oh, okay, Nathan, okay. Nathan, Nathan. Let me ask you this: yeah. Do you, let, answer this question. Do you have the Chrome browser installed on your, on your computer? On your computer. Just answer that question because if you have it installed on your computer, then um, you need to copy and paste the link that I sent you in the email. Copy it and paste it in your Chrome browser, and I bet you it'll bring you right on. Or right click it, it'll say open with, and then you just do that and then go to Chrome and it'll open it up. 
Yeah. So yeah, bring, bring yeah, come on in, man, because I I know you got a lot to say on this, but um, yeah, we have to. But it's yeah, it's funny that you said that about uh, Satan being a chief musician, which means we really have to be careful with yeah. this gift that um, God gave us because. Yeah, well, we gotta be I careful. Love, I would love for D to come on. She mentioned she was well, a speaking, singer musician, but yeah, she speaking of D, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, honey. Um, D, I just hope that you're all right down there. D's down there where they had all them tornadoes and stuff, right? Is she down there in Nashville? Oh, wow. No, she's not in Nashville. D, you in Tennessee? Oh, that's right. I guess that would be okay. Well, I don't know if she's in if she's in Nashville. I know she's in Tennessee. I just don't she's know. Down there, well, she's down there where all those tornadoes and stuff are, and uh, I was concerned about that. Uh. Well, I saw that a couple days ago. I just want to make sure that, that you know, we, we got Diaz in the house. Is she all right? Man, well, obviously she's all right. She's on here. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's somebody there. else that logged into her account, and she's and that's the reason why she's not on the panel. But, you know. Oh, that's D. But, but D has the um link, so if she wants to come on, she already knows she's welcome because she used to be on every week. So That's right, D. You're going to have to D? get up here. Otherwise, Shit, I don't. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. <laughs> and make sure you send that $50 to my PayPal. No, something's funny. Okay, so uh, <laughs> she says she's in Clarksville. She says she's in Clarksville. Well, how far is that away from Nashville? Or, or yeah, we don't know. Thirty-five minutes from yeah, Nashville, I, so that's that, oh, there you go. So yeah. then you was right there in the middle of all that stuff. Just so long as you're okay, D. That's all. You yep, know what I mean? Definitely, it's, definitely. You know. And let me just put this out there, since we're talking about D. Um, Brandy is supposed to be traveling down to where D lives mm -hmm. sometime this week. Right, I think it might be Monday. I could be wrong. D, can you confirm? So, um, we're uh should be seeing some videos of D and Brandy together because Brandy is supposed to play because there's a some type of event going on at D's church. Oh, so she's coming on Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, so Brandy, yeah, so it's some type of event going on at D's church, and Brandy is going to travel down there. And they're going to be playing together. So I cannot wait. Y'all make sure y'all record every moment of it. Yeah. Upload it so that we can brag about y'all in about two weeks. Because next week, y'all y'all, y'all will still be doing the services. So we'll say in about two weeks, we want to look at those videos. And we want to just, just see y'all two link up. Just like we saw Mike and 112DZ link up last week. Of course, it was just a picture, but it's all good. <laughs> And, and, yeah. and D also said that she travels my way also, so maybe we have to hook yeah. up sometime. <laughs> hey, what's up, Fred? What's up, uh... Ron? I'm, Ron, I'm going to ask you this right now on the live stream because you you make the best beats, man. I want to know oh. if you will be willing to do a create a beat on one of these live streams live for us, so that we can kind of just watch your process. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Just e e even if all we're doing is just looking at your hands on the piano. I'm, I mean, I'm sure you don't have it set up where we can see your computer and all, and keep switching yeah. cameras. But I, I, yeah. I would just love to just watch you create. Now you can either do it live or you can re pre-record the video and we watch it. But or at least you have process. You know uh, what we yeah. all need to do is we all need to make an intro and an ending for this show. I mean, that, that would be, and then we can all vote on which one is the best one. Or just yeah, come right. together and make an intro. Everybody pitch something in. Oh, yeah. We all just put one together. Yeah. And that you know who, be. and you know who the chief, the executive or the chief pr producer will be? That would be Not you. Me. No, it won't be me. I want it to be Ron. I want Ron to I be think like, it should right. be you. <laughs> no, I think it should be you. You. <laughs> Ron is like, the first you know, four <laughs> you. days out of the week. Cause, cause you, I mean, yeah, I know Ron is in. You know, he's probably in church right now. That's really just a shadow, a shadow of him right there. Uh -oh. the Ron's probably in church doing the heel toe. <laughs> and the hey, Mike, did you have on a uniform? Did he have on an Eagles outfit? Yeah, this is uh, actually, you know, it's been windy up here. I don't, you know, you're down in, you're down in Georgia, right? Yeah. Well, hopefully the weather is better down there than it is up here. But it's windy up here and it's chilly today. And I had this sweater on, but now I'm upstairs in the house and Pop's got the heat on 99 up in here and it's hot. <laughs> so I put this jersey on. I mean, I I just had this jersey on because the sweater that I had on earlier, it's just way too hot to have. It is a wool sweater I had on. Didn't, right didn't your dog have an Eagles jersey on? Yeah, yeah. Did your dog? Have, oh my goodness! I didn't even pay attention. To that. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Okay, there you go. That's there ridiculous, go. man. There you go. <laughs> I'm yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous, yeah, yeah. man. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. not the 
do this. Yo, yo made sure that the dog had it too, man. You got it. There you go. Oh, <laughs> we don't want to start like talking sports because James is going to come up here and then we, we ain't going there. This ain't the sports. <laughs> I haven't seen him in the comments section, so he hey, might he yeah, might uh, not be seeing this right now. So. Hey, hey, Mike. Hey, Mike, I got a question for you. Yeah. I noticed on the uh, live stream that uh, that was Thursday, man, you got some major recording equipment, man. Right. That is that is actually my partner's. That's actually at his house. Uh, however, Mike. However, Mike. If you pan your room right now, he still got some equipment. Can you pan your room? Wait a minute, hold on. I'm gonna stand up and get out of the way because you guys. I'm in the way. Wait a minute. I'm gonna okay. let you see it yourself. I know the chair is in the way. I'm gonna try to move the chair out. I'm gonna try to find that Instagram video of your equipment. Wait a hold hold on. on. Hold on. Wait a minute. All I'm gonna right. lift it up. Don't lose power. No, I ain't gonna lose power. But the chair is in the way. I have my machine, which is right what there. My machine. There? There's my that is a, a sampler, like it's a sequencer. Yeah, I, I got a machine. Keyboard. I have my keyboard right here. I have uh, that's the machine MK3, and then down there, that's my uh, Behringer X Touch. It's not on right now. Um, like I said, uh, everything is is run by my computer. I'm on my other laptop. But, uh, no, hey, Nate, uh, hey, Native Instruments is the is the best, man. Yeah, the only thing that I don't like, yeah, I have to yeah. get, I have to get an iMac for this thing because I have too much stuff on that laptop there, and every time I try to record something on uh, Native Instruments, it start my computer starts it, so it's using it, up too much CPU. Hey, you won't believe what I use for mine. What's that? The Mac Mini. Really. Yeah, you know, okay. a friend of mine used that Mac Mini also, and uh, he did say like he put 16 gigs up in his, and he said it's it's, it's going pretty good. So it, I might I might great. go that route. I hey, might Mike, tell route. me yeah. which video should I click that where you showed all your equipment in that one video? Uh, go up, go that up. One on the, no, that one on the left, right there. This one. I right, check this yeah. out. This is a video he put on Instagram of his setup. Oh. And of course, that's one of his tracks playing. That's what I'm, yeah. That's hey, that what I'm working on here right now. Yeah. This is actually a track that that we started using those chords when we were doing the chord, uh, the chord challenge. Okay. Okay. And uh, the only thing that you can't see is the speakers. And after you get done playing this, I'll show you guys my speakers live. Uh, okay. So, he, so it's even synced up to his iPad, y'all. Y'all can see that it's synced up to his iPad. Yeah, that's how mine is. Yeah. To control and that's the his, uh, uh, controller. Yeah. Yeah. Control I'm the using, mixer. I'm using Logic Pro X for this particular track, and I have the Logic uh, thingamajig. It's on my laptop, but usually I use my controller for that. Uh, so, I just, I just bought that controller. So you need all of that in order to master a track, or what's the like? Yeah. There's not one piece of equipment that could just do all that. I thought, I thought you could just do it on one piece of equipment. Yeah, you, well, you that's can. What I, that's what I bought that X Touch for down there. So oh, let, me, let me put it back. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that's, that's that thing is down there on that bottom shelf where the mouse is down there. Uh -huh. I, I just bought that. That's my latest piece, and that masters it. You know, you you can do all of that with that. I mean. If I didn't have that, I can do the mastering, but then you have to go and go into the laptop and in the computer and all of that stuff and go with your mouse and go tweaking and peeking and stuff. But with that down there, I can just uh, I can do it all there. Yeah, it makes workflow so, easier. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I have. That's what I'm working with here. All of this stuff is in my bedroom here. I live, unfortunately, for right now. I live with my parents for right now. Um, long story short, I just got divorced and all that and i hope my ex-wife get hit by a bus but anyway um <laughs> what you I've saw been there. <laughs> what you saw on that uh that actual recording that we did the other day for jazz's birthday that was me last summer uh working out at his because i had just got the machine and we were learning how to work the machine 
that song that I was doing, I remember Jazz had said that that's from some chords and stuff we were putting together. That's actually the song that I learned from Jazz. That was free by Denise Williams. And I just got to be me. Oh, okay. And I put that song together on the machine and we were playing it. And I just went freestyle on the uh, thing. But that's over at my partner's house. My partner has all of the big stuff at his house because I don't have the room here for all of my stuff. So, so, so let me ask, part. so let me ask you a question, Mike. Um, yeah. I'm a native instruments user also, mm -hmm. and their stuff is not very user friendly, you know, to operate. Uh, how did you, did you find it difficult to use their products? Or I feel like I'm, I pay so much money for it, but I'm not getting, you know, out of it what i really should be getting out of it and it's because there's such a learning curve well for me for me the stuff is doing me some justice but those programs that they're putting up there that you download and all that sometimes it can get to be a hassle um i do like working with it but at the same time again it's eating up a lot of my cpu that's why i started working with logic again because i have logic and i have machine up on this laptop here Ooh, right. I had to buy a dog on four terabyte uh, hard drive. And what I need to do is put all of those little nickety knack programs onto the hard drive. And then I don't know how to do all of that yet. So I'm learning. I'm learning how to do that. But uh, but, I, you know, it is it's 50 50 for me. I mean, you know, some of that stuff that you get uh, when I go and buy some of those programs, um, I wait until I get me one of those. E. What, what do you call it? The. The e thing. So if the thing costs forty nine dollars, I'll use that e card thing and pay twenty five. Uh, oh yeah, the e. I'm not, go and, uh, I'm not gonna go and grab everything that comes out that's brand new. I ain't gonna do that. You know, I mean, if, if it's something that I like, you know, I'll get it. But mm. I'm not paying no uh, dude. I I don't fell for the okie doke once. I ain't doing that again. I wait till they send me a few e vouchers and then I'll get that stuff. I, I know that's you know, right. Yeah, that's so. the guitar center. But um, sure. Bubblegum, to answer your question, you don't have to have all that stuff to make music today. Right. It, well, it, I mean, it, 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 it works. It, I mean, definitely the more st equipment you have, it can make life so much easier. But you really, truly can have a laptop with the right software on it. And you can have a controller connected to it. You want to get yourself. But that's if you want to be a producer, right? Right, I'm saying you want to get yourself something similar to like this. This is a audio interface. Yeah, the interface. It, right, you want you yep. want to get yourself something that's similar to this. This right. is what I'm talking to y'all three. Not this particular one, but I have one by uh, Presonus. Right. That I'm, that I'm using right now. So you get yourself that, and you connect it to your computer via USB, and you that you get the software that works best for you. And I promise you, you can use just your laptop. A little you already have keyboards there so right. you, you straight you already have that so you get yourself a little sound in a interface like that and um the right software and you can make a whole album with just that get yourself a microphone right. too that you can record with there's so one you of can my record monitors, your vocals there's one of my monitors sitting up there on my headboard y'all gonna have to excuse me for the bowl of spaghetti that I ain't taking get a good microphone. I don't see no spaghetti, but I, I would see the bowl that's over there next to my electric toothbrush. You see it? I don't, I, I, I don't see it, but okay, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I'll take your word for it. If you say it's spaghetti over there, then it's spaghetti over there. It Whatever, just is man. What it, it is. It was a bowl of spaghetti, man. Well, just to stay on topic. So, we were talking about um, minister music and playing at church and things like that. So, what's some of the criteria you think? Since there's a minister of music, but there's somebody who's a keyboard player and just a piano player. I like I, I like what Tarita said right here. Yeah. She says a true minister of music uh can play in whatever key you need, read music, play by ear, direct, choose songs in the right range for their soloists and can help soloist musicians be better. Uh, I think that's a good start. What you say, Ron? Yeah, I, I agree with it for the most part. So, so what would you add to that or take away from? Yeah. I think they need to actually know how to play the keyboard or at least be a little bit, you know, aware of where they want the music to go. Cause you know, like I think the keyboard player, if he knows somebody's not quite in the drummer's not in the pocket, you know, he can tell him to get it, you know, and he knows how to end the song or, you know, if they're, they're a little bit more aware of the moment and they're creating an atmosphere versus, mm -hmm. Somebody who's trying to direct a song or 
you know, I wouldn't even say there'd have to be the director or somebody who's not even musically inclined or doesn't know anything about melody. It, you know, they're just there to kind of, you guys make sure you practice or they're just there to be in control of something. Well, like, well, well, a lot of, a lot of that comes, you know, with experience also, you know, you, you make some mistakes, you learn from your mistakes. And then for me, for, for me also, you have to know the, know the congregation. You got to know who you're playing for. It's just like I always say, and I see young kids do it all the time. I wouldn't go into a AME Zion church and play Pentecostal. I wouldn't go into a Pentecostal church playing Catholic. And then for me, another part is, is that you have to be spiritually in tune, you know, also it's, it's much more than the music. If you're not spiritually in tune, it's not gonna go go right. So spiritually, you got to be you're taking aware it to the next well. level, man. You you going to right. the next level, man. That's so true, man. Your spiritual life, man. Your your relationship with God too. Man. That's right. Well, that's the whole thing, man. I mean, and for me, like when I was playing with that uh, at that church, man. I mean, like, look, you have to look everything that you do on this earth. You have to answer for, okay. And God, you know, I mean, he'll, he'll you know, he'll he's merciful. You. He's merciful. He's, he's merciful. He'll work with you. But at the same time, you have to always remember, like, I don't care what pastor or whoever's over there or this and that and the other thing. You are doing a service for almighty God. You have to remember something. When we all leave this planet and we go to be with the Lord, guess what? We're going to be in church for eternity. Mm -hmm. OK, and those, who truly, and, 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 and those who truly accept that Christ will be with exactly not eternally. I, I just want to clear that up. But go ahead. Exactly. It's going to be <laughs> that's what you're going to be doing for the rest of eternity. You're going to be sitting up there in church. Okay, <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with who's Pentecostal, apostolic, fredestolic, or any other kind yeah, of that, that, that's nothing but or, just division. That's all, exactly. all, all, all religion yeah, is so it's messed just division, up because of all these blue eyed divisions who people be lying. And it, the, the bottom line is that that's that's what you're going to be doing, okay? Whether you got wings, stings, or earrings, that's what you're going to be doing. I'm done, okay? <laughs> and, and you have to know that look, he's giving you the talent for. A specific reason and for a specific season, and you have to use it wisely. I mean, like, look, not everybody can do this. Yeah. So and, 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 and you know, and I you know, not to take the discussion too far, but sometimes music is too much emphasized, especially in our churches, you know. Um says so it sometimes I hate it because. Music can emotionalize you, opposed to feeding you spiritually. Right, it's and, more emotional, and it's not really spiritual, right? Yeah, and and I think somewhere, I think that our churches have kind of lost their way because it's been about the music, and they're willing, <laughs> and they are willing to pay good money for the music. Now, and I understand that music does, you know, bring in your congregation, but. At the same time, too, it's not about the music because the music's not going to sing you to heaven and it's not going to sing you to hell either. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's other things that's going to sing you to hell. It's not going right. to be music. It's going to be other stuff, like not accepting Christ's uh, right. gift, uh, <laughs> the gift of Jesus Christ. Right. That song, it's a song I wrote that I put out with a friend of mine named Midi Man, and that's what the song is about, the first verse. Oh, if I can find Man. it, I'll play it. If I can find it, it's on here somewhere on my computer. I'll play you the first verse, but the and I, I re-released it this past Christmas, oh. but it's on his album, so y'all y'all might not have heard it. But if I can find it, but that's what is the name of the song is called "This Gift of Love." It's called "This Gift of yeah. Love," but it's about cool. the gift of Christ, and I just re-recorded it uh, for his Christmas project. Yeah. But yeah, and, and he speaks the truth. Now, if yeah. you want to hear it from a musician standpoint, church musician, uh -huh. listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Now, I mean, you know, I uh, I would like to go to church uh, or go back to church. But for me here, like the church that I was going to when I was here, uh, it's not the same as it was, man. I mean, and, you know, it to me, it just seems like these churches are more concerned about making a dollar. And the people well, who true. go to the church, everybody's saved and hallelujah, this and that and the other thing till you go outside after the service is over and they cussing each other out in the parking lot because somebody's in somebody else's way. You know? <laughs> and it's like, look, 
you know, I I, yeah. I don't get down. I don't get down with the fakey Jake, man. If you're gonna live, your you're, you're playing with your soul, man. And you know, uh, I have to find a, another church home here to get my spiritual, you know, spirituality and my spiritual life back well, into focus. But sometimes he wants you to be in those places so that there's a, a light there. So if you got everybody in the church that's that's you know acting a certain way, they need somebody who's thinking and saying, you know what, this isn't right. And I need to, if you see the music ministry is, or they're just about the money, then maybe you need to lead offering call and, you know, kind of redirect everybody's mind where it's like, you know what, this is why we give her this. Uh, is, you know, I don't, my dear, I don't know what happened to the church that I was going to, but I'm telling you, I mean, like, look, that church that I was going to, it, it actually made me a man. Okay. And I don't know what the problem, like all of my accountability partners, all of the brothers that I, dealt with was an choir and all this stuff all of them are gone you know and you know it's you know it's it's just not this it's like a cemetery in there now i mean it's so dead in there it's not even funny you know and i don't know what happened while i was away or, or i i just don't know but i you know when i when i first came back to philly i went there and it is just not the same it's just not you know and it's to me Mm -hmm. it, you you have to really find your niche because look, if you're a child of God, what does he say? My sheep know my voice. Mm -hmm. that what you're basically, basically, yeah. If you don't feel right spiritually when you walk inside of a church building, you know something is wrong in your heart and in your spirit. I mean, you don't walk in there saying, "Oh man, I'm expecting for this to be corny and this and that and the other thing." No, no. But if that's if that's the spirit that you get, you never set foot in there again because that's not the place for you. And you know. It hasn't happened for me yet, but I have to find a place where it's, you know, where I'm going to be comfortable. I've been visiting other places. I'm not trying to go there to beat women and all that other kind of stuff and, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not trying to do that, but, you know, I'm not going to have, uh, I'm not going to be going there and, you know, you're sitting there doing a sermon and people are just walking up and just throwing money in a basket. And that's how you're paying tithes and that kind of thing. Uh uh, no, I get down like that. No way. Same lady catches the Holy Ghost every Sunday. But you're not having that. We're not having that. I mean, we, we know it's the time. truth. We know it's the truth. Yeah, no, it ain't, it ain't going to be no James Brown review and all that with people <laughs> acting the dog. On. Look, let me tell you one time. Let me tell you, this lady, she had, a, she had an autistic kid and she didn't know he wasn't diagnosed autistic yet, right? I've been we there, D. There, we all sitting there playing. And doing this wow. and that, and the kid jumped up and ran behind all of us, ran behind me, ran behind the drummer, ran behind the dog on piano player, then the pastor, and dove into the dog on uh baptism pool. Oh, up at the top of the <laughs> ah, psh, I need wow. to be cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, looks like you got Nate, y'all. I think Nate is coming on. Hold on, all right, all right guys, I'll be back. Okay. Okay. It looks like Nate is trying to come on. Um, Nate, if you can hear me, it's not going to allow me to bring you on unless you have something connected. All you have to do is have a microphone connected. You don't have to have a camera. Okay, hold up. I think I got you. Hold up. Hey, Nate, yeah. you there? I'm here. I'm finally. There here. you go. Oh, man. Hey, hey. There you go. It's been a minute What's since up, you've buddy? been on here, man. What's up, man? It's good forever. <laughs> I'm What's pulling up the old you? Android device. Thank so you, because so Android cool. works. Oh, I wish Android. Mike did Mike hear that? Yeah, I hope Mike heard that. I heard it. Because I the, heard Apple, it. the Apple stuff just don't work. But anyway, we're not going to get into that, man. But I know you, you got some stuff work. that you want to say, Nate. So I'm going to go ahead on and let you say some stuff. And then I'm going to play this I'm track. This is Nate right here, y'all. And he sent me a video. Uh, it, I was supposed to play it for my birthday, but we couldn't get it working. So after he says his piece, I think I'm going to play his track for y'all. <laughs> Go ahead, Nate. What you, what you want to add? Many to of what you guys, there are many of what you said, what everybody was saying is on point with Minister of Music. The first thing you have to do is just make sure you're called. You know, we have a lot of musicians who um, are very talented musicians, but they aren't called. And if you have the wrong person leading your minister, your musician department, you know, it could really mess up your congregation and your church. So you want to make sure you have the right person in place. The second thing you want to do is make sure you're skilled. Um, Lucifer was a very skilled musician. Extremely um, skilled. But many of what they said 
Yeah, many of what everybody said in the comment section is is on point. And also making sure you know your audience, you know, you know your congregation. You're not playing Kirk Franklin on Sunday morning uh, when the church calls for something more traditional or him. So you want to be yeah. versatile when you're playing. But uh, good to hear and see you, Jazz and Mike. Yo, it's good. To, it's nice about time, time you finally get back on here. Whenever you want to come on, just use your Android device. There you go. Oh, hello. nah, man, you got to get yourself a Mac. Computer. Uh, he's uh, right. hello. He's been using Apple he's stuff and it wasn't Google Chrome. And it wasn't do. working. Don't you get it? Uh, it is working. It's working. It's just as easy as driving across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, man. That's all you got. Hey, Mike, <laughs> App, Apple really sucked me in. Hey man, everything I have. Is thank you for using that word. Thank I'm trying to tell thank you, you man, for I, using I, the word sucker because that's exactly you. what it is. I can almost guarantee you, man. Okay, if you're on a Mac computer, you go up to your launch pad, you know, the little thing with the rocket, it. It was... click on that and slide over there. And you probably have Google Chrome there, man. You just download Google Chrome if you don't have it, and you could get up here and you could holler at us. No. And, <laughs> 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 Okay, well, that's all. It's still, all good. And, and he started that download in the comment section a long time ago, and it's still downloaded. But I'm gonna that's leave that so alone. Jazz. We're not, we're not gonna have our fight about that. I'm right about Mac computers. Oh, uh, whatever. I did. We're gonna talk about and something it's still else. downloaded. For those of y'all who <laughs> don't know Nate, Yo, Nate Jazz, was the guy that who video came up with. James, that was Nate that started hey, that. Hey. <laughs> that was Nate that started. But and James not here either, man. Dang. <laughs> Where's my cousin James? If you're uh, out there, boy, come Jeff on, man, James. so we can get that one time. That one time. I want to hear it one time. James? <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> Seriously, though. Um, Nate, what would you say is the difference between playing a hey. piano and playing an organ? I'd like to hear like, what uh, you have to say about that. Well, an organ oh. and uh, I think the piano... Me, yeah, you chippy yeah. choppy, but we can hear you though. He is not hey. choppy. I hear he just stopped talking. Yeah, no, I think he just so stopped. The talking. difference between an organ um, is you really organ is a little bit more percussive, and you really want to make okay. sure that you are laying your chords right. I always talk to me uh, yes. about organs being the blanket, right? So you want to cover. Mm -hmm. Uh, what the keyboard is doing. You don't want to play as if you're playing a yeah. keyboard, but it's also and a lot of chord substitutions and tritones. You yeah, know? You, know, you know what's funny? So you just want to be mindful I, I, of that. I, I'm glad you said that because you said you don't want to play the organ like a keyboard player. And that's exactly the, um, a guy that I know, a musician I used to play with at one of my older churches. Matter of fact, he repairs organs in the Baltimore, Virginia area. DC area and he told me he was trying to show me how to play an organ because he has a whole bunch of organs in his shop because he repairs them and sells them and all that stuff and every time I would get on he said you know what Richard you're, it's, it's hopeless man he said you keep playing the organ like you're a keyboard player <laughs> and he was like you can't it's like if you keep yeah, approaching it like a keyboard player it's not wow. going to sound right he said you, you better off just sticking on the piano if, if you just refuse to Approach it as an organist, and I can't. It's like when I sit on a key or at an organ, I approach it like the keyboard or piano. You got to change your mindset, and I don't even know what my mindset's supposed to be for the and organ. And, 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 and the sad thing is that I have a key to get into my church, so that whenever there's nothing going on, that's like I really could go in there and practice as much as I want, but I just don't like the organ. But so, so that's that's bad on me. Because I can go in there and practice whenever I want. I have a key to get inside the church. So, like, hello. Uh, all I got to do is just make sure there's no meeting going on. And I can go in there and practice. But I just, I don't know. It's... I can't. I know you're kind of far away. I couldn't hear everything you said, Ron. Say that again. I said, when this live stream is over with. I need for you to go up to the church and learn that. No, work. that's going to be too late, bro. I already got to go to the church in the morning, all right, man? I ain't going tonight. It's already 9.05 p.m. now. And, and plus we're we losing an hour. Yeah, we're losing oh, an hour tonight. 
So oh. yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't going nowhere tonight, bro. When this live stream is over, I'm going to bed, maybe. But I know that's right. <laughs> that's about the only place I'm going. <laughs> you ready to play Nate's video? What you say, uh, Sabrina? You ready to play Nate's video? Yeah. Okay. This play Nate's video. So this is what he was going to. Uh, he wanted me to play on my birthday stream. Uh, Nate, did you did you want? It sounded like you was getting ready to introduce this video earlier. Yeah, like Is that something that you wanted to say before I click play? That's a video, but I learned that from you. I'm sorry about that. You said this is something that yeah, you learned. I learned from this me? song from you, right, Mike? Uh, Jazz. Okay. Yeah, this is about a year or so ago. I don't even look the same anymore. But okay. uh, I was just <laughs> one in the song. Uh, okay. PJ Morton. Um, what's the name of the PJ Morton song? I don't. Uh, I don't listen to him like that. I, for, I know I've done some yeah, of his songs. Uh, first though. begin. Okay. When first we first begin. begun, first begin, begun. Okay. So, the, so he claims that I did a tutorial for the song. So I believe him because why would he come on you here did. and lie? So. This is he learned how to play this song from me that I don't even know the song, but here we go. <laughs> here we go. Chords, man. I mean, yeah. I'm about to get off and go practice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, you need to be quiet, man. You need to be I'm quiet. Like, what video is this? <laughs> was this? He says it's called First Begun by PJ Morton. It's began, first began, and he said it's what it's called. See how his right hand is? I need to exercise my hand to do that man i'm like usually usually when i play like my middle finger is all up is off the thing like see how his <laughs> you be trying yeah, to yeah, you, yeah. you be trying to cuss us out by while you're playing the piano by putting your middle <laughs> finger up me too like, i'm the same i need to learn how to you know i need to learn how to exercise did y'all see that he went like this yeah, i, I seen him. i see him. <laughs> He's a musician. <laughs> Some nice chords, man. I need to um look at my video and learn how to play that. <laughs> Since you said I did it. <laughs> Me too. Oh, okay. I wonder, did I use sheet music for this song? What? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's trying to be like Sabrina and sing under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, that was bad, man. That was good. That was hey, bad, thanks, man. man. I wish I, I wish I could have played that during the birthday stream, man. Yo, that was hot, yo. Hey, watch my screen. Thanks, I'm about to go practice. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, get your behind back over here, man. <laughs> so you said I did a tutorial, and you said the name of the song is called First Began. You said that's name. It's called First Be Not Begun, like but Began. Be okay. Began. All right, well, I might have to look at that too. That's nice. up too many. You be putting up so many tutorials, you don't even know what you put up there. That was nice though. Those are some nice chords though, man. Yeah. PJ Morton. I know I've done maybe one or two of his songs before. So it the name sounds familiar. And I know he's the son of Bishop Paul Morton. I know that's that's all I know about him is that he's the son of Bishop Paul Morton. And he's very talented. I, I that's Musician. That's all I know. Man. Yeah. Yeah, that was man, that was good, man. That Thank was God. good. Speaking of PJ, PJ was one of those musicians who Appreciate it. Uh oh. Yeah, it's not working. So. Uh oh. Yeah. You see that? That, that that's that Android stuff. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. That uh -huh. Android stuff. 
Hey, yeah, I was able to find a clip of the song that I redid. I was talking no, about the gift I'm of here. love being. No, you I muted your mic. Anybody? So, oh, oh no! You what happened? I did. We, we all was second, we was waiting for you over... to talk. No, nobody was talking. Though. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it's like you 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 had started a yeah, sentence and didn't... then you just disappeared. I, I'm like sorry, right now. You did song over a year ago because I'm. Can you hear me? He's yes. Got a oh, He's got a Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So anyway, you did this song about a year ago, and I learned it from you. It was on your page. Okay. All right. Well, I feel honored, man, because those are some nice chords. I need to teach yeah. it to myself. He's got a little. <laughs> he's got a little bit of a lag in his uh, Android device over there. So, but the well, that's better than being chippity choppity lag. You know, it's chippity choppity, and that's no, why it's got that's a lag. In it. Hey man, that's that Android. Hey Nate. <laughs> Hey, Nate, go ahead and download that uh, Google Chrome, man. You'll be all right. You get all up in here. And, uh, well, well, Mike, we're going to get along tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to get along. Hey, we're going we gonna to get along, brother. I'm trying to help you. Because if James show up in here, I want to hear y'all. Oh, man, that's again. going to so be good. If James Google come Chrome back, this will be like us reliving that, that stream from a few months ago. Oh, man. <laughs> when they kept going, James. Yo, we have got to <laughs> listen. For those of y'all who do not know, this was so hilarious that night. I mean, it was just yes, a regular was, night. It was, it was a regular night, and I forget what these two were arguing about. I know, but Nate and, just my my cousin said something, and Nate just looked at the camera and was like, it, yeah. and he wasn't, he <laughs> it wasn't even he wasn't even on he he wasn't even on camera like we all are right now. Right, he, right, just right. like he is now, and so was That's James. Right, right. And we were all sitting there. It was D, myself, it was you, uh, it might have been old Brigadier Brick. And um, <laughs> Brick Jones, yeah, it might have been Brick and uh Brandy. We were all and these fools, they I mean, they they was going at it this yes, night, they and, were. They and were. uh, you had asked a question, you had said something about uh Brandy and Wanye's song and somebody else. It was a, a mix of whose song you would pick, and mm -hmm. said Brandy and Wanye will take this one for him, and everybody went quiet. I mean, it okay. just got quiet, and all of a sudden, he just came out of nowhere and was like. James <laughs> <laughs> and the whole panel, we just it was the way you did it. Out. It was the way he, he said like, it. It was the way hilarious. he said it. And I mean, like he yeah. caught everybody off guard, and everybody just bust out. I, and I ever that since that night, ever, ever that, since man. that night, whenever James come on, somebody at some point <laughs> says, "As soon as James. he says, James will come on here and he'll say something stupid." <laughs> And I'm in the because that's why when y'all see me go like this, right? Uh, y'all know, we know the next thing like, coming out your mouth is James. Yeah. You know, when James get up here, he liable to say something dumb, <laughs> like as usual. That's why we always arguing if because you know, James James got to argue with everybody, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He definitely does. He, he reminds me of somebody, me, man. He reminds James me of somebody, always care for me. James, 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 James reminds man. me of somebody that always got to argue with somebody. I believe I started the live stream for story tonight. But anyway, uh, I'm going to play a, a little snippet of this song that I re-released this past Christmas that uh, I think, I believe the lyrics kind of talk about what we was just talking about, about the gift of God. Let me see if it, if the music is working. If not, I'll play it another time. It's my okay, here we go. <laughs> this time of year, I see little kids smile. In this time of year, other kids just cry, thinking about the gift they desire the most. Well, they need to know the gift of Jesus the Christ. The story starts with God in an angel delivering a gift known as Emmanuel. This means God with us. Oh, the sweet little baby will give his life for man as a free gift for all. This gift of love accepted right now, or you'll end up in heaven. 
everlasting fire. Our God, He's a patient God. He is waiting. He hopes that you'll receive the precious gift of Jesus Christ. And this is Mitty Man. Jesus the Christ. This is the guy whose the album this song went for on. All glory. He's a wonderful counselor. On his words we abide Looking back in time Jesus Christ the King is mine Jesus Christ the King is mine At Christmas time Friends and families come Together, share Christmas cheer out in any kind of weather. Just check out the Christmas season when Jesus is the reason. When Jesus Christ is the reason. He was trying to show off, yo. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, oh. Okay. For your fire. So, Rita, this is me harmonizing with myself right now. All those harmonies are me. All those voices are me he right there. Hopes that you'll receive the precious gift of Jesus Christ. And that's all we got right there. But anyway, but yeah, that's actually me harmonizing. It's not the greatest. I could have did better, hey, but I was hey, I was rushing. I, I had to get that song done. Who wrote uh, it? He 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 had a. Uh, I think it was like November third or something. He was like, I gotta have the song by November third, and I never got a chance to get down to redo it till like November first or something, or November second. So I rushed through the vocals. So I wanted them to be better, but who wrote it? <laughs> hey, that yeah. sounds good. That, that outstanding. Okay, well, major. But coming okay. from you, I appreciate that. Okay, but since major we're talking. Harris. About Major Harris. Oh, I stole that from someone named Major Harris, huh? Oh, uh, but it's uh, never mind. Okay. Ahead, may, may he rest <laughs> in peace too. But since we're playing tracks, and I have one more track to play. Here's Ron's track that he sent in today. Let's uh, see what it is. Oh, wrong song. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, uh, this here right here. Here we you go. Stole my song. I know, right? <laughs> So Nathan said he'll join us next week. Yeah, I lost you guys. My Android is updating because it's been so long. See, you just had to go and mess with that Android. Hey. I tell y'all, Ron is the, he's the man when it comes to these making me too. What's with the Amazon handicapped toilet seat that you had up over there? <laughs> handicapped toilet seat? Dude, you just had a picture of a handicapped Okay, okay, do you realize that this is Yahoo Mail with an advertisement, right? You do realize that's an advertisement, right? Look up, man. Look at the toilet seat, guys. Well, you know I got to go to the bathroom sometimes. Is this the Ron, remix to Mr. Yeah. Telephone Man? Is that why the phone keep ringing? Right, you got to teach me some of these bass lines, man. I like the bounce in these, man. They're pretty good. Come up with some pretty good drums, too. That's up. Ron agreed that he's going to show us how he produced music on one of these live streams. So. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Got me feeling like I'm in California. That's right, riding on a six, riding in a six, five. Left side, left side. What do you want to vote? Hey, hey. You know that live stream, you know what I'm 
I bet you it probably is, Tarita, but we'll let Ron answer that afterwards. Got the organ. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. On the organ, y'all. <laughs> Back on the piano. Sweet. So Yeah. So so the the thing about it is I've been I've been getting into some um samples because you know a lot of people are doing samples now and building yeah, songs yeah. off of it. So right. towards the end, towards the end, all of that is is just uh samples that organ and something else. So I'm trying some new things this year since I'm just now getting back into it. Um, I don't waste a lot of time on drums. I use a lot of uh, natives instruments, uh, drums to kind of lay my foundation and I, right. you know, makes workflow a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So to read it, to answer your question, when he said that he used uh, native drums, he's talking about something that's called virtual instruments, VST instruments, which means all the sounds are coming from his computer and he's triggering those sounds using a keyboard or a controller. So everything is in his computer and he's just triggering them using the keyboard. So, hey, Ron, did, did you use that? Did you use a machine to do that? Uh, just just for my drums, what I do is I import my drums into uh, Cubase because I don't oh, work Cubase. inside. Yeah, because oh, I don't work inside the uh, native or right. inside the machine. Uh, it's too complicated. It's easy uh -huh. for me just to drag the MIDI right over to uh, Cubase and do all of my workflow in there. You got to show Cubase, me, how to, you got to show me how to do I don't have Cubase. I work out of Logic. You and, could do um, the same thing with logic. Yeah, you had to show me how to uh you had to show me how to do that, man. Because they have some they have some really good sounds inside the machine library. They really do that. I like to get over to uh in the logic. I just have to learn how to do it. See, that's that's the type of stuff I'll be talking about. That's why I'll be and on see, and see, and for and for a lot of a lot of my sounds, to be honest with you, I just use my rolling go keyboard to mm. get my sounds because I've got contact. But the thing okay. about it is okay. when you get to adding too many MIDI instruments inside of, you know, a track, it starts freezing up on you. So I exactly. do a lot so, of. But, but all yeah. you got to do is just export the tracks in, as audio files, right? Like if, if you're if you know that's the kick you want to use, can't you just export just that kick as an audio file? Oh, and doesn't oh, that reduce the pressure on your. It, 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 it does. It, it does. But what I was saying is, is that that's cool. But when you get to adding too much midi in there like all of my drums are midi mm -hmm. right but when you add too much midi in there for some reason i get i get lag on it exactly I, it's, right, it's that's start freezing that's, up on you that's, that's but that's when but that's what i'm saying that's when you should start exporting the uh whatever like let's say the kick drum okay export that as oh. a um, file by itself export the snare by itself export the, with all the drums and then just close out those VST instruments and yeah. then you won't have it, you'll probably be straight. That's what I try yeah. to do. That's what I try to do with my mm -hmm. uh on logic. It's it's like okay, you have a thing on logic where it's uh the drum parts is like Motown, it's called Motown Revisited. Okay. Okay, and they have like it's just 12 keys that you would uh press up on the keyboard here, right? You know, going from uh uh, mine starts here at C because this is 61 key. So, and then it'll, you know, it'll end after 12 keys. And you have all of that. You have the, you know, your shakers and your snare and your rim shot and blah, 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 and this and that. And, but on the computer itself over here, it'll have the drum track, but then you can press the arrow and then it goes down or it'll open up like a file and then you do your hi hats on yeah. one and, and blah, 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 and you go that way. But I have to learn how to transport that stuff out of machine and put it over into uh logic it's it's so and, it's so simple you probably don't even yeah. realize the button that's right there there's a button right yeah. there where you can just click the button and drag it over it yeah. takes one second it, it took me a while to realize it y'all yeah. just need to link up because yeah. mike has a song 
that he wants Nisha to record, but he don't know how to get it mixed down. In fact, and she's oh, been waiting to do the song. Yeah, but and in fact, um, let me see. I don't know how much more battery uh I have on my laptop over here. I'll let you guys hear it. Um, let me turn this on real quick. And Why are you doing ask- that, hey Ron? You have a question. It says, "Have you worked with any artists before?" Yeah, I've, I've worked with a few local people before. But oh, just you know, local, but not, but not internet like national, international yet. No, I've no, had a. Notice that said I've, yet. I've had I've had a couple songs that have been played on. Uh, I think the last song that I had was played on the Meredith Veneer show, and they only like played twenty seconds of it. How did now tell the truth? How did it make you feel when you heard your music? Like, hey, hey, now to be honest with you, man, <laughs> I went into my BMI account. I hadn't okay. been in there in a few years. And how much and money they, was there? I had a I had a couple hundred. It felt good. Oh, I was like, that, man. Wow. Hey, man, royalties, I was baby, royalties. Look, check us out. I was searching all over the because I do not remember the song. I don't remember making the song. I don't even have a copy of the song. You're like me when it comes to tutorial. Like I don't remember the song. I don't remember recording it. But <laughs> but 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 I said I said that would never ever happen to me again. But I mean, it it felt really good. And yeah. so the thing about it is a lot of my tracks, what I've been doing, I've just been submitting them to music libraries because they don't do me any good of just sitting on my hard drive. You, you know, got that right. you got that. So right. so why not just throw them out? I mean, what might sound somebody bad might take me, it. Yes. Right. Somebody might take it. So I just throw them out to music libraries and just, hey, whatever. I'm on, it, you know, by the time I do that, I'm off to the next track. I don't forget about that song. I don't and then you log into it. your account and found out you got a few hundred bucks, boy. I know that. Man, it was, it. it was crazy. <laughs> Be like, you mean you tell me my song was on somebody's TV show, maybe, and I didn't know? <laughs> but, check us, but, but check us out. I waited so long, I couldn't even find, I couldn't even listen to it because the show had been canceled. So I couldn't even. <laughs> hey, <laughs> see, see, why did some weak TV show pick your song, man? <laughs> we need, we, we, we need, we need a good show to pick your song. Hey, hey, you know who Meredith Veneer is, don't you? She was the one that hosted Actually, uh, no. "Who Wants to Be a Millionaire." Okay, I remember the lady that hosted that. Okay. Okay. Sorry, uh, sorry. Are you guys. ready? You ready uh, to play your song, Mike? It, yeah, I think. Thanks, this is Fresh Sounds. Yeah, hang on a second. Let me see. I think that this is it. The one that I'm trying to do for Nisha. Hold on. Okay. Can y'all hear that? Yeah. It's chippity choppy, but we can hear it. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's not chippity choppy. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is it. I can hear Nisha going. Exactly. It's a slow joint. I'm trying to like, and she just got her studio stuff too in the mail, so she, she can record now. I'm gonna put her name on this so I know exactly where it's at. Wait a minute, here you go. That's what I always do when I make a track for someone. <laughs> I can't wait till she get, get her hands on that. This is gonna be something dope for her. Oh, she's gonna kill it. She's gonna knock it out. Now, mind you, I got this from those chords that we use for the challenge. Right. Don't forget, um, Sabrina, don't let me forget about finding chords for this week, baby. Wait a minute, hold on, y'all. Okay. I need to get one of those Apollo things, man, to control these speakers. I can't keep messing with the thing back here. I need to get one of them Apollo things, right? I hear you. But yeah, I'm still working on that for Nisha, and uh, you know, I want her to know. Uh, I want her to know when she looks back at this thing. Uh, you know, I need to uh, 
you know, I need to get that thing together, man. Now that I finally got this dog on radiology thing out of the way, I can get back to my music, you know. And uh, real quick before the battery runs, I'm gonna let y'all listen to that. Remember that piece that I had let y'all uh, see on my Instagram? Uh, wait a minute. Maybe here's, I don't know. <laughs> here's another one that I'm working on right here. And you know what? Here's the thing: like some people hit you up, like Gerald Veasley hit me up, right? I'm sitting up uh -huh. here putting videos. I ain't I ain't never talked to new Gerald Veasley before, but all of a sudden out of nowhere he hits me up. Okay, so I'm starting to do a few things and whatnot. They'll sit there and they'll watch you, and they'll see how your progress is, and then all of a sudden when they when they see something that they really like that they can get in on, then they'll hit you up and be like, "Hey, look, yeah. we need we we need to get to working." Yeah, and that that, sound, that, that that sounds about right, bro. <laughs> all right, here you go. Wait a minute. Here you go. Here, here's another piece I'm working on. Wait a minute. Can y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can hear. It. Yep. This is where I'm gonna need your help on certain things, right? It's a jazzy piece right here. This is the one that I had uh, emailed you, Richard, and said that I had cheated and, and went off. Yeah. It was supposed to be the 55 BPM. Yeah, the tempo. Yeah, the, this is the one that Ron said we need to make it sound like an 80s tune. That was Ron that said oh. you have to use the 80s sounds. And then you emailed me saying, well, Richard, I cheated. Yeah, exactly. Because I, I just I couldn't do it. This is actually a 110. I tried to half it up. Right, right. I understand so, what you mean. Ma mathematically, like, OK, well, 59, 110. You can right. still make it work. But if y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see, but you see how it's going in the logic right here. I don't have the screen up right now because I'm trying yeah. to look for something, but they probably can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm working on both these songs, uh uh Ryan. Hey, Mike is cranking out Motown classics over there. <laughs> 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 these are the Motown drums though. That I'm uh, that I'm using though. Hey, just let me know. I I like to work with you. Yeah, man. You're gonna have to uh, you got to uh, get my email and um, you know we'll collab back and forth. I'd like to do some stuff with you and with 112, man. Because if everything goes the way that I would like for it to go, I'm wind up going back to Virginia Beach, man. I can't stand it here. Hey, now 112. I've only heard one of his tracks, but that one I heard with that bass line. Yo, oh his tracks. God. Yo, I got, I got a couple <laughs> of his tracks here. Here's one of his tracks right here that he did one week. Tell me if you can hear it. You should be able to hear it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. He is really good. He is, man. He, yeah. There you go. Bad, yo, the man is bad. Come here, boy. Come on, you want a treat? I wonder if he actually played the guitar on that. He did. I think he did. I think he said he did. I think he said he did. Now let me play another one of his tracks. Here's another one that he submitted before. Check this you one. Treat? Out. <laughs> this dude, this dude is bad, yo. This dude is bad. I mean, I just love baby. Yes. <laughs> That's why I need to learn how to play this thing behind me, man. 
that 112 sent me. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yo. It's hot, yo. Whoa. We got to put some type of project together, and I'm sick of saying it and not doing anything about it. We got to do it, man. I can hear Sabrina singing a verse on this song, yo. Then Nisha does a verse. <laughs> yeah. And here's another track. Now here's another track he's sent in. This one right here. Yes. Yes, sir. D says she's backstage. Can you bring her in? All right, hold on for a second. I don't have the screen up, but I will. In a second, I'm trying to find something. I'll bring her in though. I'll bring her in. I'm doing. <laughs> Hello. What's up, D? What's up? 112, please let me sample that bass line. <laughs> But that's just a little taste. That's just hey, a little taste of some of the tracks that hey, he has submitted, hey, yo. Hey, 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 one twelve. Do you mind if Richard sends me that uh, audio file? Because I want to put that in my car. It might be D then. Hey, D, let me see something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you for a second to see if that fixes it. Do y'all still hear the echo? No, that's, that's D. D. That's okay, D. Hey, D uh, something's going on with the echo. Because as soon as I muted your mic, the echo went away. So, um, hey, 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 112. Do you mind if I get a copy of it? Uh oh. Now I hear the echo. Yeah. Echo. I hear it too. Okay, maybe it's not you, D. Do y'all hear an echo when I say something? No. No. Okay. See, I don't hear an echo at all. I don't know. Like, whenever y'all start hearing echoes, I never hear it. Y'all hear it, but I don't hear it. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, Ron is on the oh, phone. Oh, somebody, somebody, somebody got to out. out. Let me just subscribe. Yeah, but um, but seriously, no, no. but while he's handling that business right there, um, yo, between one twelve and Ron, yo, <laughs> they need to be like the executive producers of whatever project that we decide to put out because they got the they they yeah. they're they're the pros at it. They're it's like yeah, they man, in, man. I, I would love to hear both of them bounce track between each other and then come up with their own track and then give it to Nisha or somebody to write to and then we get bubblegum to sing um <laughs> we can get Nisha to sing <laughs> and everything uh, by any chance do y'all still hear the echo yeah, yeah I, do. I do is when, when I'm talking, talking. hmm wait a minute wait, maybe, maybe. maybe. You know, you know what? I'm gonna go, go out and come back in. in. It could be me. I'm gonna go okay. out and back in. Hey, um, Sabrina, do you hear Echo? I do. I do. Okay. I he's gonna come back in, and he's if that works for him, I'm gonna tell you to do the same thing, Sabrina. Let's see. Let me, Let me see. see. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Let me wait for him to come back in, and then we'll see if that works. D, it might not have been you. I'm not sure. Because these mics been muted for a while. He hasn't popped back stage yet. Okay, here you go. Let me put him back in. Uh, do you still hear Echo, right. Mike? Um, um, yeah, yeah, well, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, D, can you go out and come back in for a second? Can I see something? Just go out and come back in. Let me see. Because it seemed to have come wait, on wait. when she came in. So let me see something. I'm in. I'm Okay, do, do you all still hear the Echo now that she's gone? For oh, a minute? Yeah, yeah, so like, like every, every time, time I talk, I can, I can hear the Echo. Okay. 
Hmm, maybe I, I could always uh, I hate to restart the, the whole stream. It's that sucks to have to do that. Sabrina, you still hear the echo? Uh Sabrina, do you still hear the echo? I don't think I'll her mic is on. Uh Sabrina, we oh. lost your mic. Hold up, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I hear yeah. you now. I hear you now. Yeah, I hear the echo. Yeah, I hear the echo. It's a delay. Right. It's a um, delay. Man, why does this happen when we're in the middle of having something? Good? It happens on the it happens at nine thirty. Yeah, they're good man. Goodness, okay. Well, what I can do is, I let me let me drop out and come back in. Let me see if that helps. Hold on. You still hear it? Yeah. 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 All right. So y'all still heard it when I dropped out? Yeah. yeah. But you don't hear it when I say anything, right? No. no. Like when I'm talking, I can okay. hear it. Okay, I'm gonna drop all you out and bring you back in one at a time. Yeah, just go ahead and fire up. Yeah, yeah, why not? There he go. First of all, let me stop sharing the screen. That could be it too. Sometimes when I share screens, funny things happen. Okay, I stopped sharing my screen. Did that help at all? Yes. Uh, yep. yep. That's what. Okay. Was the, now I know that. In the, in the, okay, good. So now really? we know in the future that that's something. When I share the screen, sometimes that happens. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good. I don't right. know what Brandy's talking about. Brandy's got skills. She she she, she just she always <laughs> okay. trying to down herself. She's always trying to down herself. Brandy, you already know. Don't even try it. Brandy, you got skills. Don't even go there. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, please don't. Please don't even try that. Uh. Uh. We not. We not. Um. Everyone in the chat room. It sounds good to y'all in the chat room. Also, right? Okay. Here come D. Okay. I D. I. Everything should be good now, D. Uh, D, okay. can you turn down whatever you have playing in the background because yeah, we That's hear the tornado it. stuff going on over there. Yeah, yeah, whatever you got in the background. <laughs> okay, that's a tornado stuff going on over there. I'm glad there. I thought yeah, about that share world. screen thing. I'm so glad I thought about that. So, so eventually, after a while, it just does this. So I, I can stop it and, and share it again. But um, yeah, but well, what I was, hey Ron, you back, Ron? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah, man, we we. we, we between you and um uh 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 um 112 uh, and 112 thank you we we y'all y'all got to be like the executive producer man and we need to put a project out where it's like y'all two you y'all two are in charge of the production and everything and uh then we just get different artists to sing and everything because that's going to be crazy that's i i i, I man I, I i'm speechless man Hey, we I mean, honestly, those two, they, they should be, they should be the main characters in this and let everybody else add on and let, let them direct it and let everybody else add on what they direct, man. You can put together right. a pretty dope song. I you agree. Know what I mean, uh, you know, yeah, it, hey, and to be honest with you, it's the opposite for me. I like when other people create and I add on to it. I mean, yeah. everyone should be able to get an idea in or whatever, but I'm just saying, like, it's like y'all two should be like the, you know what I'm saying? Like the headliner or something. That's why I said, you know, last week, man, Jim, I wish Jim, that I had Jim, more. Jim. I wish I had more time uh, to chop it up with 112, man. We only we, we only sat there for like maybe three minutes at the most, and he had wow. to run out, man. I mean, like, you know, it was just a, it was a quick thing. When we took that picture, he had to run out, and I was like, hey, man, well, let's take this selfie real quick to put up on the thing and then he had to roll out man you know and i didn't get a chance to get back over there to uh to see him because he wasn't there the next day and then i left to come back up here last monday right but uh you know i would like to uh you know i, I would have liked to have, uh, chopped it up with him a little bit more you know i think that maybe uh when i walked in there you know i mean he was working and somebody tapped him on the shoulder like, hey look here man you at work you can't be a you know it might hey, have yeah, been I'm, deals or something. I don't I'm know. I'm going to try to share the screen again because I want to remind you of the uh the one time that we was doing the beat contest and I made the beat and I asked Nisha to write the song, the write lyrics to it at the last minute, and she did it with while watching her three kids and everything. Not you okay. Uh, but, but, but she but she wrote this joint. Tell me, do y'all hear any echo? No, Not echo, right? okay, it's good. Deep. Good, good. Okay, check this out. This is what Nisha did. I, I don't know if y'all remember when I said, "Yo, I actually write this. this less than twenty four hours at, at the time." Check this out. Right. But uh. Could it be true? I just can't stop 
stop thinking about me loving you. Stop thinking about the things you do all night, all night, just me and you. Falling in love. Ten kids staring out my window, window, wondering why it took so long for me to know and realize that you are the one for me. You hold a special place in my heart, baby. Never knew it, but you are just my type. Just my type. You know just what to say and how to say it right. Now I think it's time for me to play my game. Got me thinking about you, boy, again and again. Stop thinking about me loving you. I just can't stop thinking about the things you do all night, all night. Just me and you. Could it be true? I just can't stop thinking about me loving you. I just can't stop thinking about the things you do all night, all night. Just me and you. I'm falling in love. <laughs> Man, and I, I want I want y'all to know she wrote that song in like less than twenty four hours and recorded it. So, um, yeah. So, uh, what, Mike, it's whenever you can get that track to her, man. Oh my goodness, it's, yeah. it's going to be because she did that. I gave that to her. Um, it was about twelve hours. She did it in about twelve hours because it was like around midnight. I, I made the track and I said, "Let me see if she's still available on Facebook Messenger." She was. Right. And she was like, she was like, Richard, I don't know if I can do it that quick. I said, well, if you can't. And she said, well, just send it to me. Just send it to me and I'll see what I can do. And that girl got three little kids <laughs> and wrote yeah. that song and recorded those vocals in less than 12 hours for me to play it that night. In fact, so that child is just. <laughs> hey, 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 hold, hey, hold on real quick. I got I got to pause and say something. Now, D, I'm from Louisville. I do not go for the U of K Wildcat. <laughs> okay, we're not trying to. Why are we trying to start something? We've been having a good music discussion. Now, D is coming on here trying to start something. Come on now. Oh, we no, got to no, keep no, it music, no. yo. We got to keep it music. We was we was doing really good tonight, too. I was feeling really good. Come on now. I oh. can't. I'm not trying to start nothing. I'm going to try to start. I'm just, saying, I'm, I'm just drinking my little, little stuff for my, you know, in my little yeah. cup. And by the way, Sabrina, we did see you. We saw you when you got up. You ain't had to turn the camera off before you came back. Oh, listen, I, yeah, I, well, I didn't even man. see it. I didn't even see it. But <laughs> Mike, you need Mike, you need to be clean. Be good. Behave yourself. I know. I'm I didn't myself. see it I'm because sorry. I had the screen down. But I'm behave sorry. yourself. She didn't. She didn't see it an hour ago when I put it in the comments. I was like, I know y'all seen her just stand up, right? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody was like, be nice, Mike. Y'all going to leave my bubble gum alone, know, all right? Y'all going to leave we... my bubble gum alone, Come on, all right? The executive producer. We'll all get chipped in that is my here. That is my bubble gum executive that's producer. That's the executive producer. Gonna leave her alone. We do not want her to turn into Helen Kushnick on us, okay? <laughs> if y'all, who's Helen Kushnick? Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Mike. That's a good way to get, your, to get yourself uh, phased out. I know, right? <laughs> That's why I said I don't want her turning to turn into Helen Kushnick on her. And for those oh of y'all goodness. who don't know who Helen Kushnick is, she used to be Jay Leno's manager. And there's this movie out that's called The Late Shift. And I mean, Kathy Bates played her in this movie, man. And she went off on everybody. I'm telling you, look, she did so bad, she wound up getting herself fired. Oh. I mean, she was. <laughs> She wound up being a menace to those executives at NBC. Because remember when Johnny Carson left the Tonight Show and they were uh -huh. trying to decide who was going to get it be okay. between Jay Leno and David Letterman? Okay. She was. All I remember when he left the show. Yeah. She was all up in the middle of it, and let me tell you, Helen Kushnick was a monster, man. Not we, <laughs> so we, we, we don't want to turn Sabrina into uh, Helen Kushnick, you know, just because uh, she's nice looking. So I'm sorry, Sabrina. I, I was just fooling around. So <laughs> can't mess with the executive producer. That's right, because she will fire your behind. Yeah, I don't want to get mad at me. Y'all are already look, trying look, to look, run look, me look, out she, of here <laughs> once. <laughs> look, 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 she'll fire me if I, if I um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we did notice that you shut the camera off before you came back and said I, that. I'm just saying, so. I had to eat. We've been on here for two hours and 38 minutes. 
<laughs> She's like, I got to get something inside of me. <laughs> Been sitting up there eating blueberries the whole time. She I know, right? <laughs> and I just added more blueberries. This is number yogurt. Okay. Oh, okay. Got you. Yogurt got you. But, um, yeah, man. But, yeah, this is this is cool. Uh, D, hey. what you got for us, babe? Hey, I got a question for you. Who oh, was that? Okay. Who, who was who was who was that that she said was singing? Oh, Nisha. That was Nisha. That that's the young lady. She was on during my birthday stream. She was the one that sung the Janet Jackson song, "Let's Wait a While." Oh, okay. And we have a whole bunch of out of all the people I've done duets with, I've done the most with her. So we've done a lot of stuff together. And she, like I said, she wrote the lyrics and recorded it with a two, four, and six-year-old on her side the whole time. She did everything in less than 12 hours, what you heard. And, okay. she, and she did that using her cell phone to record the vocals. But check this out. She just got her, um, her what is it called? Her Presonus packet that I told her to get. So now she has a sound card now. Oh, uh, nice. And she has a microphone. Like, she has a microphone and Ooh. headphones. So now... From here on out, she can do, you know, she knows how to record her own vocals and produce herself. So now wow. I already told her that that song that you just heard, I'm going to finish the, I'm going to go back and redo it and make it so that it's like verse, chorus, bridge right. and stuff like that. And she's going to finish right into it. And it's she's going to put out a project at some point this year. And I really think all of us should produce a, a track. All of us producers, we should try to produce a track for it. And maybe she could be the first one. She could be the first one from this group of people that put, you know, some music out. And all of us are producers on it. But, uh, boy, that's um, but, but she's ready. Up royalties. She, <laughs> yeah, she, she's ready to record now. She got her equipment. Yeah, I remember yeah. she, she, uh, she was excited because she told me on the instant. Um, we communicate through Facebook Messenger. She was like, yo, my stuff finally came in. I was like, what? You professional right. now? I'm like, you professional? No more singing in the phone? Let me tell you. <laughs> look, I haven't, listen, I haven't talked to her uh, in a couple of times. That one night that I did have a convo with her, that's when we first mm -hmm. linked up on Instagram. And that same night, that's the, about 25 minutes after I finished talking to her, that's when uh, Loopy passed away. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> your dog. Loopy you talking about yeah. your dog. Yeah, yeah that's right, when right. Loopy died, man. Yes. Yeah. Sorry to hear hey, about. I that. ain't saying it's Nisha's fault. Nisha, it's not your fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. But did, listen, yeah, well, yeah, I, I didn't even get that. I didn't even get that from you, though, man. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys? Was that the only track that you've uh, that you've wrote for her? Me? Well, that music. Well, what happened, Ron? With that particular track you heard, that was one of our beat contests. The same thing that you make beats for when we uh -huh. pick out chords and say, "Okay, let's make a beat," and we'll play it the next week. Well, uh -huh. what I wanted to do is I wanted to be extra with it. And I oh. said, well, I'm going to see if I can get her to sing on it so so that right. for once in my life, I can make the best track because everybody's <laughs> track is always better than mine's, right? It's the truth. If you go listen to my old live streams, you will hear me say that my track is always the losing track, right? Yeah, you so, did so say that's, that. Right. I said that several times. So I was like, I'm going to see if Nisha would do this so that at least this week, my track would be the best one. So we all made tracks. Using the same chords that I used on there, <laughs> but that was my track. And then she just she she worked the magic at the last second, man. So imagine yeah, if she can take her time and really write that song out, and you know, and and now she has a microphone and right. she has the audio in, interface now. Like, yeah. yo, it's gonna be professional now, man. So I I, I got I got to still like that track that I did though, the one I let y'all listen to. I think oh, it sounds yeah. good. I, I don't see why not. Too. Yeah, Both. I don't see why right. not, man. I really don't see why not. Uh, right. So, like, like I said, if one twelve submits a track, Ron submits a track, you submit a track, I submit a track. That's an EP right there. EP only got to be about four or five songs, man. They're gonna have Nisha doing all the singing. We're gonna <laughs> everybody's gonna produce Nisha's album. Well, it, well, yeah, it's her project, obviously, yeah. but we're we're all be producers on the album. Her and her husband will probably be the executive producers, and then we'll just be the people that contribute. Boy, to it. you know what I'm saying? Those royalties. Well, it's nothing to really split up in the sense of if it's just your track, then whatever. Well, I guess we still will have to split it up some kind of way. But right. I mean, sometimes it's not about that. Sometimes it's just about getting the music out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah. got to split it up, but it if is what it is. Like some money we, is better than no money, right? Well, and and at right the same time. And at the same time, Nisha has done so much for me 
because I was the one that initially asked her to start singing songs and everything with and I I can't think of one time she told me no. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm man, talking about like even that. if y'all remember I said with uh Andrea uh that um she was supposed to do the endless love with me and Andrea kind of just disappeared on me. <laughs> I went through, and then, and then I asked another person, would you sing it with me? That person says yes. So I sent them the track. My vocals was already done. I had finished my vocals like in February of last year. And so Andrea never got back to me. So I sent this to somebody else with my vocals done. All they had to do was add theirs. That person kept saying, oh, it'll be done by the end of March. And then in April, oh, I'll get it. And I was like, okay, whatever. I asked somebody else, and they was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. They didn't, and I mean, that track went through about three or four different people. And I said, well, let me see if Nisha would do it. I said, she probably blow me off too. I tell you, like, I think in less than two days, Nisha had her vocals done. Wow. It was like, here it is. <laughs> and I was like, I'm wow. like, I love that girl. Okay, nobody said, that's my baby right there. I love, I love, Nisha. that's my girl. So I want to, um, I, I definitely want to help promote her, put her out because she, I, I was feeling sad because that that duet didn't come out till about August or September of last year. But I recorded my vocals for it in February. That's wow. how long it took for me to find somebody to mm. sing that duet with me. And I was just and I was feeling bad because I really liked the way my vocals sound on that. I said I, I worked hard on this and nobody wants to sing it with me. And that wow. girl turned that thing around in two days and all her vocals was done. I was just wow. like. Whatever you need, whatever you need, just let me know. <laughs> so, so I'm, so I'm, so, so I'm going to support her any way that I can. You, right. you know what I'm saying? Because she, because she looks out for me. So I'm like, that's just it. So have you heard the comments is. lately? You mean over here? Yeah. Um, in, in the G, chat. Yeah, Larry G. Said, uh, Larry the photo G said, "Do you only accept music from the from panel?" The panel. Oh, no, no, no. Anyone can send in music. Anyone can send in the music. As a matter of fact, maybe we should start discussing what chords we want to use, yeah. if that's okay with the producer, unless she has something else in mind. Well, I thought that you had some other uh, questions that you and uh, Sabrina were supposed to get to. Well, like I said, that's why I said, unless she wants to do something, I'm letting the boss, you know, uh, it's up to her what she's going to do now. She allowed us to have this nice little music discussion, so I appreciate that, because that was, it was, I was sitting there like, this is what I want. This is what I want. Music discussion. Yay! <laughs> thank you, Bubblegum. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bubble, Bubblegum, Bubblegum. And that's another person I love. I, I want y'all to know right here, this, this one right here, <laughs> just, just, just like when I say with Nisha, whatever I ask or whatever, it's just there for me. And Sabrina and I only started, you know, like I reached out to her just within the last month or so. And she's just like, whatever you need, Jazz, whatever you need. So I'm like, this another one right there. So and she and she's doing she's doing a good job also. Oh. Uh, 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 excellent job. Thank you very much. <laughs> An excellent job. The only thing she did bad on was she still hasn't sung Have You Ever yet. So do, oh, do you, you feel like singing that right now? For you me? ain't gonna get her to sing that. No, but Mike, he's supposed to be playing a song right now that he learned from the channel that he's supposed to contribute for the. Oh birthday. yeah, remember you are at your keyboard. That's right. Yeah, you're at your keyboard now. Bro, the battery ran out on the computer. Oh, okay, well then I guess yeah. Sabrina's gonna have to do that. Have you ever in place of that? Because she because she learned have you ever from the channel too. So. <laughs> She 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 like, she's like jazz. <laughs> that oh, might look like jazz. <laughs> Get on over there. No, I'm not in this, man. It. No, I don't so, have that much. Uh, uh, let me see, yeah, man. Hold on. I'm going to turn this on again. His me... keyboard is not a key. It's it's oh. a controller only, so there's no sounds in it. So he right. has to have his that oh. his laptop on for the sounds. Right, and you remember the yeah. laptop that I would always flash up here? We mess yeah. around with the Apple products. Yeah, that's the one that I'm on right now. Because gotcha. I, don't, I can't use my music uh, computer and do stuff while we're talking on this. So, but gotcha. I only have one chord because I gave the other uh, chord to my daughter because right. she lost hers. So I gave right. Her, so now I'm working with one chord. I ain't got ninety five dollars to go and get another one. Okay, I feel you. So right now the power cord is in the computer you're talking to us with right now. Exactly. I got you. Right. I got you. Right. So okay. So Sabrina, you really not gonna hit that? Have you ever for me? Not for real. 
Huh? I know my limits. I'm not a singer. I and barely can play the piano. So oh, you know what? Just, I, I'm because you said that. Oh my goodness. Because you said that, okay. He now, we, every time I say that, he plays that little low budget. No, game. no, this is different. No, this, no. <laughs> hey, that, I'm playing something favorite different. One. That's, that's my, my favorite, favorite one, one too. I, I actually like that. I've checked out the page, thank, and that's thank my you, favorite Ron. one. Thank you, Ron. But she just oh. uploaded a new video today. Oh, now, snap. now this is her son. This is her son playing the piano. But there's this beautiful oh. voice you hear in the background oh, thinking. And she just uploaded the video, like what, just before the live stream began? And let me make sure I got the thing sharing I screen. I thought Drea was going to be on here and she was supposed to critique it and help me out. And let me get that off of there. Well, 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 we're going to critique it. I already got it loaded up. So before she tries to delete it, this is um, Sabrina's son, Sean, playing. But listen, but listen to the voice behind. You said pause. What's up? Well, I was saying that I learned this song from your channel, so I oh, okay. taught on how to play it because it's like five chords, and he he really does not even touch the piano at all. Like so, when I was like, Sean, it's super easy. Trust me. And so he's doing it, and he actually he likes it now. Like he likes that song. He comes over, he plays it. And it, he only plays it for like every bit of five minutes and then he'll get up because he's like, I'm done. But okay. that one I was like, okay, well, I'll sing it. And then I was like, yeah, 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 you play. And then I'll sing and that just, yeah. All right, so she just uploaded this. So, um, and I already left the comment. Uh, I'm seriously going to get you. <laughs> and y'all can go to your channel and see what else I said. I'm like, we about to fight. That's what I said right here. Like we about to. This was to um not to Sean, but to Sabrina. But anyway, <laughs> but, <laughs> right, but check out. But check out Sean playing the piano, and check out his mama. His mama. Uh, Bubble gum. What's her name? Bubble yum. Bubble gum oh, singing sorry. in the background. Check this out. Isn't she You can even see her arm. You can see her arm in the video. I can't believe Look at she just lifted her elbow up. You gotta go like that. She had to make sure her underarm was, was fresh. Now, 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 this is the same young lady that keeps telling me she can't sing. So that's why I'm like, yo, we're going to fight because you were supposed to do Have I Ever. Yeah, you never did it, but I'm like, but you can't sing, right? Really? Really? Hey, that was that was good. Did y'all hear her sing? Yeah. yeah let me play. Good. I was gonna say, let me play it again if you didn't hear. I was gonna say. Okay. Okay. I mean, she was singing her heart out. Check. Listen to it again. Listen to it again. You hear that run? Oh. And he done a good job playing it. Right. And, but, but 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 she can't sing though. But she can't sing. Sean, again, I'm gonna say it again. I said it in the comment section, man. Excellent oh, job. Right. Brina, you and I we're gonna fight, baby. All right, here you go. <laughs> okay, quick, you got it. Laptop, this okay. is the first uh the first track that I learned how to play from Sir House of Jazz, the one oh. I learned from his tutorial. Oh, the very first and one. Here it goes. Jagged jigsaw pieces. Yeah. Tossed about the room. I saw my grandma sweeping with a whole star broom. 
But she didn't know what she was doing She could hardly understand That's guilt right she was really sweeping up You better sing, Mike! Pieces of a man I can't remember the rest of it, but uh, I know there was this one part where he goes like this. And for some unknown reason, she never turned my way. But that's the first, uh, the first tutorial that I learned from jazz. Everybody that be claiming they don't sing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, okay. we, 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 we learning about this panel, aren't we tonight, y'all? We be like, well, wait a minute. Look, you start singing, it be like this. I'm in the middle of singing and y'all be up there like this. Somebody told me like while you play, sing while you play, so that you can hear whether you're hitting the notes. I was like, okay, I can do that. That's what that's why I do that when I play. But yeah, yeah try to do, hey, like, and that's and that's hard to do is play and sing at the same time. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree. He, uh, Ron was saying that it is hard to do play and sing at the same time. At yeah. first, if you're not used to doing it, yeah, it's it's, it's definitely takes some getting used to. Now, once you do it, I mean, it's not as hard to do it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, in the beginning, yeah. I uh, uh, look at uh, Brian Brandy told you get it, Mike. It. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that was for when you were singing. She was telling you she was like, get it, Mike. And Still City Rhythms was like, go, Mike. It's your birthday, hey, even though it was mine the other day. But hey, yeah, <laughs> hey, Brandy, Brandy posted a video of her playing the drums. Yeah, oh, did y'all really? see that? Yeah, she was. Uh, uh, she posted the yeah. video. Hold on, let me uh, let me see if I can find her real quick. Hold up. Uh, what's this? Scorpio B is her name, right? D, what'd you say earlier about singing and playing? I said I'm a one note wonder. <laughs> 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 yeah, we wonder why you don't sing that one note. And he's like, no, this man. Now I've heard her. No, she right? sung. No, D has sung before. No, because it was some video she had up where she was singing, and I've heard her sing. Now she 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 lying, but here's Brandy playing the drums. I found it. Here's Brandy playing the drums. He uploaded this on March first. That sounds like that's her playing the keyboard. Like she pre-recorded the keyboard. Oh, okay, okay. But she's getting on. She's going on the drums now. Oh, I want to learn the drums. Go, Brandy. Yes. Brandy was like, oh, Lord. (laughs) (laughs) Is that the song uh, I'm still holding on? I think it is I'm still holding on. And that's the song that I'm, I'm, I played for my mother last week in church. I played like she sung this song last week. I'm still holding on. Yeah, I got a bone to still pick with you too, Jazz. I, I know. Lift every voice and sing. I know. Uh, hey, look. Oh, don't hey, no. I tell you what. No, I, I don't need it now. I ain't gonna watch no movie with y'all. Y'all will talk through the movie. Ah, uh, come on, uh, Sabrina. You know it's right. it's fun, but it would be fun. You would have a good time, though. You would have a good time. Speaking of movie, y'all make sure y'all get on there and watch Love Jack. <laughs> I want to see that movie though. Yeah, I'm a beat y'all. You just proved the point. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, you know. Exactly. 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 Good girl. Woo! Nice. For those hey, of you that was wondering hey, if Brandy nice. was talented, yeah, yeah. For those of you that was wondering if she's talented, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this song that um Brandy and I did. This was a uh since I played the one Nisha did, I had did a track and um for when we was putting beats together. 
mm-hmm. and only I had sung to it. But why, when we played it, Brandy said, I want to get in on this track. So I sent it to her. I extended the track. This was from one of our beat, you know, uh, things that we did. And it's she like, added uh, vocals to it. Yeah. So I don't know if y'all heard this, but check this out. This is, so this is Brandy and, and me with a do what, basically. I wrote the first verse, she wrote the second verse, and I wrote the hook. And this is on Brandy's channel, by the way, not my channel. This is on Brandy's channel. Every time I think I found love. You better sing, boy. I mean. <laughs> it always turns out I'm not good enough. She even put my sorry lyrics on the screen. I, I'm never good enough. Just one time, I want to be the one. Just one time, I want to be the one. <laughs> she just can't live without. I sound so pitiful, don't I? Just wishing and dreaming about my life. Mm. Imagining love like I like I how she put that picture on there. <laughs> Imagining love like I see in the movies. <laughs> Come back to reality. You're right, Bubblegum. Just like, but then, <laughs> but then I come the back movie. to reality. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so this Brandy, y'all. Uh, her verses, this is sad as mine. So. It turns out that I was never real. I know that I was the one. Thank you. You better sing, Brandy. I really can't see myself without you. I preach your us while they should go change in the picture again. Crossing the wall where it says. Y'all, that's hot. As we love another, you still a kid. Brandy better sing. <laughs> but then I come back to reality. Now, Brandy decided to harmonize with me. Check this out. Maybe one day, the cycle may end. Y'all better do that. Oh man, that's sweet. Now she shocked me with that one because she oh she said uh jazz, I want to get in on that track when I presented the original track, and I was like to myself, I said she ain't gonna do nothing. But I emailed it to her, right? I I, I extended the track. I said, I'm going to make it so that you can fit a verse in there. And I was like, she probably ain't going to do it. Man, it was like, what, two or three days later. And I, I got, she she recorded her vocals on Band Lab. And I was like, she even harmonized with me. Hey, oh, that's, hey, hey that, that's not, not only was that a good song, that, the lyrics in it was really nice. But, why did ST say is that the saddest song written? That was kind of sad. <laughs> lyrics- I told you it was. I, I, I was yeah, feeling it was sad, but it I, was I, nice lyrics. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, 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 I haven't dated anybody since my divorce, and my divorce, uh, let's say I separated, uh, summertime of 2017. So yeah, brother be getting lonely sometimes. All right, brother be getting lonely sometimes. And I was, and I was sitting there. I was listening. I, I, we came up with the chords for the song, and I literally just started singing the words. They, they just came right to me, like, and I, was, and I said, let me just go ahead on and write this and see what. Uh, happens. You mean you actually remember the words? <laughs> No, I wrote them down. See, when I record vocals down here, my <laughs> lyrics are typed up on the screen, and I'm eyeballing the screen the whole time I'm recording the vocals. Like, uh, because if I take my eyes off the vocals, I'll forget the line. So, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they're right, but no, 
But yeah, that Nisha's is not, uh, Nisha's not yeah. on tonight because she's uh, at Dave and Buster's with the kids. Oh, is that what she said? Put, no, she just put it up on Instagram. And she's oh, Dave okay. And <laughs> there you go. That's, that's I guess it's Dave right and Buster's. Yeah, somewhere. But that song is available, but it's on Brandy's channel. So you'll have to. I'll give you a link to Brandy's channel. So if y'all want to check her out, hold up. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I decided when she put it up on her channel, I said, well, yeah, let people go there to hear the song. You know what I'm saying? So here's a link to her channel. If you go to her channel, please make sure you subscribe and check out some of her other videos. Uh, let me stop sharing so we don't get that echo again. So what's next on the docket, uh, producer Bubblegum with the Did three y'all? M's? <laughs> Did y'all talk about the, the key that you want to play? That would be a good segue. Talk about the key that everybody likes playing with. Who won the poll on that one? Oh, yeah, and show the poll. Okay, so... Pick up. Um, Mike, what key did you say? You said A major, right, Mike? Yeah, you yeah, like playing that, it. yes. A. So for some reason, I'm always in it. I always wind up getting in the A. I'm, I've never heard a piano player say A major. I said that. I said that. Early <laughs> Maybe on. a guitar player. I said that, Ron. If you if you go back and listen to the beginning of the uh, live he stream, yes, he did. He said A. I said, well, I usually guitar player says A major. But usually not keyboard players. I said I like that. <laughs> what you say, yeah. um, Sabrina? No, I like A two. It seems like I always end up playing an A. I like it. Well, you know, A major is the key that have I ever is in. Why don't you practice singing it right now? Because have have you ever is in the key of A? Not mine. Have you ever been in love? Been in love so bad? Be just about anything. Anyway. Well, okay. Thank you. He's going, he's going to have to sing that. He's supposed to he got to sing that for me one day. But okay. He don't but like the only person that we haven't heard from on the panel, because Ron said D flat. So D, well, a D. do you like playing in the key of D? Ah, you like that? Uh, you, like you got jokes, right? No, actually, you know, I like E flat. Thank you very much. But that's what I said, though. I said E flat because of Ron Bendini. Remember, I told my story. All right, well, let's take a look at now. We had some people. I asked y'all to go to my community tab and uh, place your vote. So let's take a look at the vote and let's see what people said. I guess I got to do a share screen again. I turned it off so that we don't get the echo. But let me put it back on. Share okay, screen. Call back, Mr. Echo. Okay. So for those of you, so this was the poll right here. It says, which key do you feel most comfortable playing? Uh, then, of course, tune into this live stream for the results. So it looks like C major got... 20, was 27 percent e flat which is sad this is a very low number 15 percent oh i'm sorry 19 19 19 19 19 percent my eyes dropped down to f sharp major was 15 percent and g major was 21 percent now i was not able to list every key so we said if none of the above is your answer post your answer in the comments section so i have four yeah, comments four comments so let's go down. We have Ernie Potts said D flat and E flat. E flat or second. E flat is a close second. Okay. Ron did say D flat in the comments section. Appreciate that. Uh Christopher Ward uh Ward says all 12 keys. You always gotta get somebody that got to brag and say, Hey, I could I just feel comfortable in everything. <laughs> I, I, I have no problems. I got perfect pitch. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what they say. And then this um this girl named uh Cool Bree sounds. I don't know who she is. We don't but, know who um, that is. Yeah, yeah. We don't know who Cool Bree sounds. I don't know who that is. You might find out uh, next week. Yeah, yeah. Her, her she might go by the nickname Bubblegum, but I'm not sure. But she said G flat is her new favorite key right there. You know what I'm saying? I I, I think I know her. I, yeah, I think we know her, but um I appreciate y'all taking the um time to do that poll. And for those of you that might not have saw the other poll that we posted uh, for the birthday, which it says, since it's my birthday week, I'm posting uh, which birthday do you feel deserves the biggest celebration since it's right underneath. I'll just oh, show yeah. it. Yeah. Right. So we had 3% say the 16th, 12% say the 21st birthday, 50% said the third. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 32% said the 50th birthday, 4% said 80th. And the winner is all the above. I do have comments down here. Uh, Christopher Ward said every birthday. Uh, some this stranger named Cooberry Sound said, 
I'm not really big on celebrating my B day, but if I had to do a big bash, be it'll be my 50th. 50th. Yeah, I would say okay. the 50th is the most important, man. Because yeah, okay, important. you know, because the 50th is number one. It's that you know you're reaching the half of half a century. A half old. a century. You know, I mean, <laughs> like old, okay, you know. 16 years old. You don't really care that's because sweet. you just because, because well, your sweet 16. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's different for females or whatever. But 21. 21 is not that important because, okay, yeah, now you're finally able to legally drink, but you've been doing that since you were 16. Oh, yeah, but but you haven't Mike. been, no, 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 you haven't been legally drinking since you've been 16. Yeah. You might have been drinking, yeah, you but, it been drinking but, that's but, it but it wasn't. But that's legally what I'm saying. So 21 is not that important because you've been uh, doing that since you were 16 anyway. Yeah. You just can do it legally. Now. It, 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 um, it, it, is Sean close by? Boy, are you drinking? No, sorry, I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I was He's not. He's look, somewhere we Number one, oh, I mean, okay. like, look, a lot of people are not even blessed to see 50, man. I just lost my best friend a year ago and he didn't oh, make 50. Wow. You know, I mean, just last, actually, last week, last weekend was the first anniversary of his passing. He passed away a year wow. ago, you know, and uh, he didn't, everybody else made 50 except him. He was six months short. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. You know, Definitely a lot of people sorry are for your loss, man. 50. Yeah, man. That was my buddy, man. I mean, like, dude, me and that dude did everything, man. So, That's you know, exactly. for a while, I wasn't even playing. Uh, I wasn't even, you know, I stopped playing for a while, man, because, you know, that would hurt. So. Yeah, I, 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 I can understand. I definitely can understand. Yeah, Ger- I miss him a lot, man. Gerald had a birthday in, Mar- in March as well. Right. And he said 50 is the new 25. So he, he in other words, I guess he doesn't feel old. <laughs> no, that's right. So, um, but yeah, so that was, so what we're going to try to do is every week, uh, Sabrina is, well, what day we're going to try to put the poll up on Wednesday, Thursday, we, yeah, whatever. Get it, get it out early so it can run the rest of the whole week. Okay. Time. Do, do, do we have a day that we can call out so people can kind of look out for it or we haven't, you haven't decided which day the poll goes up yet? It, it depends. I have to see. I don't want it to okay. interfere with my uh, watching Golden Girls and Married with Children. So <laughs> I got to plan this out better. Oh, I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so just stay tuned and look out. Check out my community tab, and you know, eventually oh, we'll put it up, and so that you can we can have a couple of days. And we might even do some one gotta goes on the community tab to see what the community voted and all that good thing. So mm-hmm. yeah, keep an eye out on that. So whenever the boss tells me or gives me the uh the poll question for the week, or if she tells me to make up one, then what whatever she says goes. So all right. <laughs> Wait, what what else you got next? Uh bubble gum on the docket. All right, so court number one. Who's going to do court number one? Oh, okay. She's ready to get the courts for the beat next week. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me switch my camera view. Let me switch my camera view. Photo, photo, photo G. Um, he wanted to contribute, right? He was asking if it's just for the panel or if everybody can contribute. So maybe uh, while we're coming up with one, you know, he could think of maybe the final one, give him some time to think of a chord if he's still online. I think he was talking about can he create the beat? With yeah. us. And what and we've done that in the past. We've let people who did not come on the panel, as long as you email it to me, I will play your track. Even okay. if you're not on the panel. I think but that's what he did. from the chords that y'all create, right? Right. Yeah. From the chords that we create. Um, I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry, which one I'm trying to hit. There we go. Um, but yeah, um, anyone that's on the panel, I'm sorry, in the chat room, you can create a beat using these chords too. And if you create it, just email it to me. My email address is the way you see House of Jazz spelled right now on the screen. Just that at yahoo.com. And if you send me your track, exactly. I, will, I will play it. I will play it. Exactly. So, and we're getting ready to discuss what chords we're going to use. Let me move this. Uh, y'all see me get my tablet. You see me yeah, get look, my tablet. I got to move this keyboard out of the way so I can get the other keyboard. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so the chords that we put where we were like, which one is your favorite key to play in? Is there any reason why we can't use those right now as the chords? Yeah, because you have to learn how to, you, you have to make a song like whatever chord you pick, you gotta uh, wind up making a song and it has to be relatable, right? Yeah, yeah, they have to match in the key. So but we'll we'll just we we just gonna have to more challenging if you have to like uh Sabrina, the chords gotta work like the chords gotta 
you got to pick a key and pick a key and you got to use the chords that's in that key. Now, yes, there's right. other chords that sometimes you can substitute with, but the, the well, what we called out like uh, A major for Mike and mm-hmm. then we got G flat here and it, it's, it's just not, it's not going to work. Musically, it's not going to work. Sonically, it's not gonna right. Work. You have to have something that's got to it's, it's got to go together with yeah. uh, with but, what it is you're playing. Like, I mean, but couldn't they be passing chords? That particular chord could be a passing chord to get to. Well, the- people can put passing chords. Like once we get right. these, once we figure out these chords that we get ready to figure out now, people are allowed to build other chords around the chords. Around we, those, right? Yeah. yeah all we're going to do is just pick out the foundational chords. And then if you want to throw some other stuff around it, you're allowed to do that. So that goes to the people in the chat room over there, too. Uh, if you want to participate, I think Fresh Sounds Florida particip- participated one week and emailed me a track. So um, right. so we can use substitutions, try tones. Yeah, you can do that. But well, which chord was, which, which let's chord let's was voted the most uh, out of all your votes tonight? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just say this. The one that won was... Um, let me look. I still got the screen up. Hold on. Let me scroll up. Hold on. The chord flat. E, uh, 27% was D major. E flat was 19. F sharp was 15. And G was 21%. So technically C major one. Okay. Why don't you just start with C major and we'll work from there. C major nine. You know you probably you're always going to the ninth. <laughs> hey, hey, that's so that's so funny. That's the first thing I hit on my piano was it. DC, see good minds think alike. C major nine. All right. That's so we both got Scott Heron joined, didn't it? I don't know. I, I don't remember how to play the song. You you know how to play it though. Play that again. Do it again. C major nine. Yep. All right, so let me let me type that down. C major nine. Okay, Ron, what's the next chord, man? Okay, now now then your uh, left hand hit a, a B natural, F sharp. Uh, 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 take your left hand up an octave. Okay, play a F play a F sharp. Uh uh-uh. uh, and your left hand play a B natural and the F sharp. Okay, and then then your uh, right hand play a A. D F. You want uh-uh. that chord? Uh uh uh. A A natural. A natural. D natural is in David. Oh David. Oh. And then uh, F natural. F, F natural. That looks like um if you take this A and bring it over here, that's a D minor chord. Yeah. Or for A and B. So basically, it's D minor over A. Because, F, well, hold up, but you got the F natural. So, uh, and then you got an F sharp. So, hmm, what do we call that chord? Let me see. You said, oh, B diminished seven. According to Medicalist, they call it B diminished seven. But it's a half diminished or fully diminished. What is that? Is that? B minor seven flat five. Oh, that is okay. It's B minor seven flat five. Check it out. There you go. You could. This is the same chord right here. This is a B minor seven flat. Uh, with yep. the, the F sharp is flat, so it's a B minor seven flat five. That's what it is. So B minor seven flat five. Okay, gotcha. All right. B minor seven with a flat. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So we got C major with a B minor seven flat five. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna work. So Ron, what's the next chord? Because I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so in, your, in your left hand, get an E. There you go. You it. I already you did it before it. you said it. Before you said it, I went to E. <laughs> and that's going and that's and it, the next one's gonna be diminished. Is gonna be a a flat in your right hand. Oh, hold on for a second. So this chord that I'm playing right now, hold on. Is what? Uh, I guess it's B minor flat five over E, then, right? B minor yep. seven flat five over E. So let me type that down. E minor seven flat five over E. Okay. Yeah. 
okay, cool. And then after that, and then that, what? and then that right hand um, um, to go back on that E that you had, you can also throw an A A flat in there with it also if your fingers. Can be yeah. You mean like this? Yeah. Oh, so that should that be the next chord you're saying? That's an E seven flat nine because this is an E seven chord, and so the F will make it flat nine. So just this by itself, these notes by itself is an E seven, uh, E dominant seven. E so when you add the F, it's the flat nine. So I'm gonna say E seven flat nine. So okay, so hold up, let me, let me put that in the same measure then. Yeah, he loves his ninth chords, folks. E seven flat nine. Okay, so so far we have Ah uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Uh let's see. Hey. A what minor or A seven? Uh, 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 and your and your right hand do it G A C E with an A in your bass. That's A minor seven. A minus, a minus seven. Okay. Cool. Hold on. I'm just typing it so I don't forget. Hold on. Please put these up on the screen when y'all get done. Uh, uh, Mike, that's why I'm typing it. That's why I'm saying. Let me type it. <laughs> All right, chip it, chap. As soon as I finish typing it, I will click send. <laughs> All right. So we got. I'm sorry. Doing A minor nine, but okay. So what you got after that? A minor yep. over D. This to the D. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then, be, yeah. Okay. So that's just A minor seven over D. Then. Okay. I'm about to post in the chat right now. And I'm gonna put it up on the screen. These are the chords. It looks like these will be our chords right here, y'all. So we right. got. I meant well, when I say C major, that's supposed to be C major nine. My bad, y'all. So just just remember that that's C major nine. But we got. Um, that all right so let's break each one of those chords down uh so so phonic was like yo that's a nice progression all right so your first chord um c major nine and let me see something i might can make it easy let me see, can I do this if i do this or if i do this okay check this out i'm gonna move ridiculous over here if I can, let me see if I can. Where is it? Ridiculous. Put it on this screen. So I don't know if that helps y'all to see it better. But anyway, so the first chord is C major nine. So you got C on your left hand, right? And right. then you have B natural, B as in boy, D, D as in dog, E, and G. So that's your C major nine, right? That's the first chord. Now your next chord is a B minor seven flat five. Okay, so you can do the way I played. I know Ron called it out different, but I think he did it this way. I think it was. 
but I'm gonna show you the way I play it. <laughs> Just because I'm, I'm I'm stuck in my way of playing things. Okay, uh, B on the left hand, B as in boy, and then on your right hand you have A, B as in boy. You can skip that B if you want, but it's no harm in playing. It. And your next note is D, D as in D. That's on the panel with us, and F. <laughs> It did F on the right hand. So that's a B minus seven. This F right here makes it a flat five. So B minus seven, flat five. Right. And the only, the only thing, the next chord, all you're doing is taking your left hand and moving it over to E. That's it. So keep your right hand the same and take your left hand and move it over to E. Okay. So that's B minus seven, flat five over E. Okay. And then the next thing, the only thing you have to do with the next chord is take this A that more than likely you're playing with your thumb and drop it down to A flat. That's it. Just drop it down to A flat, and that's your E7 flat 9. So that's that's still the E on the left hand, though. That's true. E on the, the only thing you're changing is the A on your right hand. All you're doing is dropping it down to A flat. flat. Okay, got you. And then that's your E7 flat 9. Now he said he gave us A minor seven, but I like A minor nine. But I'll show you the A minor seven. <laughs> I'll do the A minor seven. The next chord is A on your left, and then you got G, A, C, and E on the right hand. Okay, that's your A minor seven, and then the last chord is just you taking the left hand and, and going down to D. And that's A minor seven over D. Okay. All right. So one more time, C major nine. Then you got B minor seven flat five. Take it over to E. Drop your thumb down. And then go to A minor seven, even though I'm playing minor nine. <laughs> and then take your left hand and go over to D. I added that extra note in there, but I ain't gonna tell you what note yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah, I like it, pass. I heard it. Cheaters, cheater. <laughs> no, that's okay because we said that we can add passing notes in other chords, so that's not cheating. Yes, you can. You so, can so, do that. So if you want to use that chord, all you got to do is look at this live again and freeze the freeze the video when I hit it. Cheater. <laughs> cheater. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we got it, y'all. Just remember on the screen, I forgot to type the number nine right there. So it's supposed to be C major nine. That's the only thing you got to remember. And that's the C on the left hand. B is yeah. in boy. D is in D. What's up, D? E <laughs> as in echo. And then G is in gamma. There you go. I'll be right back, y'all. Hold on. I'll be right back in like less than a minute. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, it would be nice if you put the rest of us back up on the panel and not right. <laughs> oh, chippity chap. Oh, chippity chappity. Do they have to be in this order? No, Larry, not necessarily. No, they don't have to actually be in this order, just so long as you use these particular chords in whatever song that you have. Um, they don't necessarily have to be in that order. And uh, you can also play them inverted, and you can add your own chords built around what uh, what these chords are. So I have fun with it. I think what's the name is up there uh, playing her playing her song. She's getting started on, and uh, I believe that's her up there. We don't know because Jazz just got to sit here looking at his headphones. <laughs> 112 said it's weird hearing us talk without seeing us. Jazz went and got his microphone. And he's got the overhead cam in effect, folks. Who's that playing? Is that is that Sabrina up there playing? Or is that Ryan? That's me. Uh, 
Uh, okay, I'm back, yeah. Everybody's on video, oh, but me. Uh, everybody's off video, but me. He <laughs> laying down, sitting up there watching the Kentucky game. Oh, no, I didn't even look at the game. They made me so mad today. Oh, we ain't going to talk about sports because, look, that's why we didn't already got Tiffany Chap. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we having a good we having a good one, y'all. We've been keeping on the music thing, and this is great. Um, <laughs> this, this is what, this is what the, this is what I want the live stream. This is good, y'all. This was, this is like one of the best ones I've ever had with y'all, man. In the yeah, sense of, you start with, you started and, and, off with me. Okay, all right. right. I thought it off. Started with off with this, this is what I've been begging y'all to do. Because like, I y'all didn't tried to, to click music. me out of the whole podcast. The there you go, trying to. I told no, I mean, you, I, to kick me I hired a producer, and we were trying different things to try to do different things. Mike, nobody was trying to get rid of you, man. They kicked me the curb, folks. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know what, curve. Mike? I'm never bringing you on first again. Okay. <laughs> all right, you just <laughs> messed it up for hey, everybody. Okay. Two minutes ago, you just said two minutes ago that no. Uh, Actually, uh, it was only one minute ago. Okay, it was only one minute ago. Okay. Hey, 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 hey Mike's exact phrase last week was he's being phased out. Uh, phasing me out, man. Yeah, I'm about to phase you out now, man. How about yeah, that? It, it, that's messed up, man. You, I stopped smoking on camera and everything, man. And, uh, and I appreciate that, man. Yeah, and you still, and, and you still want to get kicked to the curb. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's oh, cold blooded, man. man. Yo said, now that's what we call a podcast. It's it's weird hearing y'all talk without seeing y'all. Oh, yeah, it's called a podcast. <laughs> I like that. No, but Larry the Photo G had asked, do the chords have to be in this order? And no, I no, him, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, I told him while you was off camera, uh, right. no, they don't necessarily have to be in that order. And you could build around what the foundation is. That's all up to you. Yeah, that's for real. come up with some pretty good stuff, man. I mean, like, look. I mean, you heard the song that uh, Brandy and I did. That song came from us pulling out chords just like we just did, and that was my track. And you also heard the one I did with Nisha. That came from the same thing. So you never know what's going to come from these chords. Maybe one of our tracks, Nisha or somebody will write to it and become a number one song. You never know. Well, look at Sabrina. Yeah, you never know. getting her Aretha Franklin on. Go ahead, Sabrina. You better play. Go ahead. Get it. That's why yeah, I was with it, and that's why my screen was gone. I just came on because 112 <laughs> said we, we disappeared. I was oh, okay. jamming. Oh, uh, well, did you um play the chords that we were showing, or you was playing something else? Oh, no, that was too complicated. I'm not on that level yet. Oh, okay. that ain't complicated. You're supposed to take you, that's why we take the time and spell out each chord, though. That's the reason you got you gotta push exactly. yourself. I that's mean, not that you don't write it down, not that you don't push yourself because you do push yourself like the when, when you tell me all the stuff you do. When you're practicing, I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. You got to do that, but yeah, but don't yeah, don't do too much. But what's next on the docket? Um, bubble. I keep wanting to say bubble yum. Okay, hey, bubble Dennis, gum. I would like to. I would like to go back to what you had said um, before earlier about when you went to uh, went went to a church and you didn't call ahead to see if they had a keyboard. <laughs> All they had was an and, organ. <laughs> and I said, that's musician one on one. Is you always keep your own keyboard in your car with you? Yep, at all times. Well, I don't keep it in the car, but I do call ahead of time and say, "What kind of keyboard do, do y'all have?" And the one thing that I do take with me is a music stand. And I, I like if I'm going somewhere, I would definitely have it because you'll be surprised how many musicians just they don't need anything, they don't read anything, they don't. And I'm like, okay, that's not me. Sorry, I can't memorize every song I have to play. I, it's too many songs. So yeah, I mean, because I would, I mean, I may not. I always have my keyboard with me in the car and hey, everything because you just don't never know what kind of setup anybody has. And plus, I like to play my own stuff. Lord hey. have mercy. Look, my son in law just hit me up, just texted me up and said, These MFers suck. He's talking about the Sixers. Okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all really trying uh, to get it. Y'all, no y'all really okay, trying to no get sports, it all. No sports. <laughs> no sports. No sports. Oh my goodness. But okay. Just to make this announcement, just in case I have to go. Uh yes, Brandy will be here Tuesday. Um yay, yay. we got our uh women's day weekend coming up. Uh nice. Saturday is a busy day, and Sunday uh is our main day. Uh I even Rocky even sent me a track to uh it's a certain part of the uh service Saturday 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at the devil. Look at the devil. Look at finally getting on the, on the thing. Where is Rocky, man? Rocky hasn't been chilling with us in the chat anymore. I don't know what's up with that, but go ahead. You oh, said Rocky sent Rocky you something? Her too. Yeah, yeah. Rocky sent me a couple of tracks. Um, There's one that I really like that there's a certain part of the service that uh, the women's supposed to be parading around in their little hat and heart, hat garment. Okay. And, um, so he sent me some tracks to, you know, kind of play. And I mean, they was hot. I mean, Rocky. Well, you know, Rocky is a beast on the, <laughs> on the, uh, he need to be one of the producers too. If he shows up to our live streams anymore, <laughs> <laughs> all you gotta do is just show up, just show up, bro. Cause you know, you kick Rocky to the curb too. Uh, yeah. Rocky still gets the email dude. So I did hey, not kick him to the, he still somebody, gets the email. Hey, look, man, we got to check up on Brickety Brick. We ain't heard from Brick in a minute. Are you man. the one that talked to him on the phone? Have you called him again? You, he's a, he hey, was dude, in Philly. I, I know, man, but I, I forgot the brother's number, man. I'm sorry. You know man. what I might hey, if, brick, if man. I Look you out there, I, man. Look here. We ain't forget about you, old Brick the Brick. I don't delete any emails. So the email when he emailed me his number, yeah, I should still have it. So if I find the email, I'll forward it to you because I know he yeah. sent it to and me. To we give to, to you call. because he's in Philly. He, right. he was in Philly. So, yeah. yeah. We need to call and check on him, man. I hope yeah. he's okay, man. Oh, yeah. Brickety Brick. Brickety Brick ain't been up in the Brickety Brick for a Brickety yeah, Brick. For real. Anyway, we're going to try our best to get it recorded and, and put it on. Yeah. So we, so y'all know, see what we're doing. That's what's up. That's what's hey, up. Man, that might be up. nice to see y'all get it in. That's going to be real good. Well, everybody have a good one. I'm signing off time change and got a long day at church tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're all yeah, losing an hour. Tomorrow. Yes, I took off actually, tomorrow. I actually, said, we're hey. not losing an hour. That's the hour that we're supposed to have in the first place. And this is the good weather that's coming up when it's spring forward. So y'all think about that, even though it's the beginning of March. Amen. <laughs> all right, Ron. Hey, Ron, man, I, I will I, be I, trying to get with you because I am up in Louisville way a lot. So maybe me and you can hook up sometime. Let's do it. Yes, indeed. <laughs> With my UK cup. <laughs> nah, now nah, you're gonna have to go to Lexington for that. <laughs> Christopher Ward, you're usually the very first person to say hello in my live streams. How are you on. like the last one? He how are you? The la- oh, okay, my bad. He I was gonna say, on. how are you the last one now? I think but he's anyway. the first one acoustic, acoustic F. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's Mayoli. Mayoli, what's going on, Mayoli? Yeah, I think. Does he want to come on? I'm gonna have y'all because y'all gonna have me late for Sunday school. Well, do we have anything left on the docket? Um, no, that was pretty much it. Bubble gum. Okay. So that was it. That was the three hour mark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but like I said, I took yesterday. I think I took Sunday off. I got somebody to fill in for me, so oh, I can do oh, look that. At you. Look at you. Look at you. What's up, D? D been What's laying up, around Molly? watching. It. She been laying around watching it. Oh, never mind. I ain't gonna say what she's been watching. Uh-oh, no one uh-oh. brings sports up in here. <laughs> now, right now, I'm watching NCIS New Orleans. <laughs> oh man, dude, is it what's the name? Does that still come on the first 48? They had some horror stories on there, man. And most of that stuff is down south, down there in Nashville, and down there mm-hmm. where y'all be doing that chippity chop stuff down there. Mm-hmm. In the southern part of the region, chippity chop stuff, huh? <laughs> That's right, chopping each other up is what they be doing. Oh, it'd be oh, hey, mean, what, what part of Georgia Dude, are you from? Uh oh, guess who just oh. came in? Oh lord! Yes. Oh, my cousin yes. Jane. Yes. Jane. Oh, hey, hey. Be, <laughs> man, Bubba Gun, what what part of Georgia are you from? Well, I'm not from here. I just moved here um, less than a year ago, and it's Warner, Warner Robins. It's close to Macon. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Where are you originally from? Originally Kansas. Kansas, you have from uh, what's what's the board? They just won the Super Bowl, right? I mean, oh, Eddie Griffin, yeah, he from Kansas, he from Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> well, no, remember the Super Bowl that was the Kansas City, Missouri. I got corrected for that. Oh, okay, my bad. My bad. Hey, hey, now wait a minute, can we clear that up? There is a I thought that Kansas City, uh, I thought the Kansas City Chiefs, the state of Missouri, and the state of Kansas both share that team, don't they? Thank you, yes, it's twin, they call them twin states, and we right. do. Share, right? Because obviously Kansas City doesn't have, or Kansas doesn't have a team. Yeah, Kansas City, Missouri has the team where the where the stadium is. Right, but Kansas City is in the state of Kansas. Yeah, but that's the thing. When you say Kansas City, everybody says like you're referring to Missouri. Right, like, Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri. Right, right. Yeah, if you're from where I'm at, Kansas, then you're not necessarily from Missouri, which is crazy. okay. 
Yeah. I see. So it's just like uh, it's just like Minneapolis and St. Paul. They share the Vikings. Right. So Kansas. Yeah, exactly. We share the Chiefs. Are y'all talking about the Wizard of Oz? Y'all keep talking about Kansas and stuff. Don't you worry. Oh, <laughs> please, please, please pray for us in Nashville. It's going to be years of recovery. Yeah, we was checking out on, we was checking D, checking on D. But all of you guys is down there in that Tennessee area. Hey, Tarita, thank you for so much for coming out. And Sabrina, thank you for inviting us. All right, Tarita, oh. Mosley, you take care. Yeah. All right, hope that's our new friend right there because she uses Windows 10 computer. So Girl, that's my buddy we, now. We're we going to be so tired tomorrow. We hope to see you back up in the chippity chat. She, it's probably going to take her a while to recover from the four hours. We oh, was yeah. talking earlier about what happened in Nashville. He said, uh, this gentleman right here said, please pray for us. It's going to be years to, for recovery, yeah. years of recovery. And so no uh, doubt, it no is, doubt about it's, it's that. It's pretty bad down there. there. Uh, East the Nashville just finally good. got water. Uh, East Nashville, it, it, they keep forgetting about the East Nashville over there. They just now getting got water over there, bottled water sent to them over there. It's just like everybody else is getting everything but East Nashville. So well, wait a minute, isn't that where the Titans? The Titans play in Nashville, right? Right. The actually, um, where the Titan Stadium is at is not far from East Nashville. And it's also where TSU is at too. So any TSU alumni that might be in the chat room, hey, y'all know what y'all need to do. Y'all need to rebuild y'all school. That's one of our mm -hmm. black uh, HBC colleges. So That's Tennessee State, right? Yep, Tennessee State. Mm. Wow, man. So I've never been down there, man. I've you know. Never been down. I wanted to go to uh, Memphis to see where Martin Luther the King was killed, but uh, I actually wound up uh, wound up going the other way. I got lost leaving Dallas because I was supposed to go through uh, supposed to go through like Memphis and all of that, and I wound up going around the other way and wound up in Atlanta somewhere and what have you. So I've never been through Nashville, but. Uh, uh, Nashville, yeah, you know, or Memphis. Na how, how far away is Memphis from Nashville? Uh, it's about from Nashville to Memphis. You're looking about maybe two and a half, three. Oh, uh, okay. Depends on which direction you take. Oh, okay. It says TSU has twenty million dollars worth of damage. Wow. wow. Well, all that tuition yeah. they charging for, they'll get their money back. Right, right. Yeah, get it back. Like I said, anybody in the, in, the, in, the, in the chat room or any alumni that might have been to TSU, y'all need to pitch in and help your school out. Yeah, because you ain't going to yeah. get any federal aid. Donald Trump ain't thinking nothing about no doggone Nashville. If it was Florida, that'd be a different story. Right, because that's how he's going to get reelected, of course. Everybody knows Florida is the, uh, they have, you, a, what's it called, electoral college. Well, he came to Tennessee, but he did not come to the worst part of Tennessee. He came to the part where he felt comfortable at, but he wasn't like yeah. down he, where he might mess around and get shot. That's why. <laughs> I mean, even Bush finally eventually went to New Orleans, so that's that's oh uh, yeah. Even well, he, even he eventually I don't, went. To I don't. I don't so we need to do get Kanye West up here on this thing and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Hey, I remember when uh, he did 112th that." One twelve, did he getting ghost? All right, one twelve. Oh, uh, one twelve, you gone? Love you all, but I'm tired. I'll see y'all later. All right, one twelve. We all probably should get off simply because we're losing an hour, especially us that have to um get up for church get in the morning. We, we, we're losing that hour. <laughs> I'm gonna get I back get over here and love Jack and try to. And if y'all and if y'all remember, if y'all remember, I told y'all that Streamyard started telling me that they're only going to give me 20 hours a month. Well, since I did that extra live stream on Thursday, uh -oh. we probably should stop it so that I don't go over my 20 hours for the month of March. Yeah, because that was know, almost three hard. hours, and that's three hours that I usually don't use, and I almost used up all the hours in February. Yeah, right it now, just so happened that they restarted my time on February 29th. That, and that was last Saturday. That was the only reason why I was able to stream last Saturday because it went back to zero on the 29th. I guess they treated it as if it was March 1st. Right now so, you're three hours, so I have to 43 be minutes. 
Right. Okay, yeah. guys. Well, look, I'm gonna go ahead and chicken it check out. So I, can, uh, oh, I think we all about the chickity check out. <laughs> but, man, this was really good. This was really good. I appreciate everyone. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the discussion. And, uh, um, one more thing, Jazz. Since yes, you didn't give me every voice, can you at least do boys to men? Uh, mama, the mama song. Mama, what's that? You told me oh, everything no. and everything you yeah, give me. You know, yeah. keep it inside. Uh, You're the driving force of my life. I kind of know how to play that already. So if I can find the chords, I have it somewhere. I'll do the video tonight because. Um, Why do you have to go there? I did. <laughs> Here go Mike. Always got something. To, just I mean, because, he always talking about he, doesn't doesn't like, the front, he ain't got that one up. He as soon as he um it's a song he don't like he act like nobody can do something. Man, come on, man. Just because you don't like it, I shoot. <laughs> See, you know what? All right. Oh and man. Go ahead before James open his big mouth and say something dumb. <laughs> say nothing. You doing you doing everything for everything. You're doing a great job running your mouth. So you can't blame me for nothing. Oh, that's James. Yeah, that's my cousin. That's my love to sing is my cousin. That's James. <coughs> you had it right there. Punch it. Then you got. You told me everything and everything well? you're giving me. You know, let's keep it inside. Yeah, I could, I could, I probably could do that one tonight. Maybe if I don't do it tonight, it's only because I'm tired. But I'm getting ready to get yeah, stopped I mean, the live stream tonight. Now. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I should be able to get to it. Uh, soon, I think. Yeah, I know. You got to do it tonight. Uh, you're so nice. Thank you. Anybody I else can be, be popping? Oh, <laughs> you can be at times. All right. But uh, but again, but um, again, two thank yous again for all the all, for everyone that participated with the birthday live stream. Thank you so much. I uh, that really meant a lot. I don't really. How are you gonna come on as we logging off? Yeah. Perfect timing, Acoustic G. Perfect timing. As I'm saying the goodbye message, but uh, I'm glad oh. you popped on for the 30 seconds that you're going to be on. Well, but, he uh, play his, uh, remember his birthday thing that he didn't do. Yeah, did, did you fix the audio to that, man? My goodness. Oh, we can't hear you, man. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. If you can't fix it, then you got to go live with it. I'm really sorry, man. There you go. You're back. See how loud he is? That's why I was shocked when we couldn't hear his yeah. video, because I'm like, this dude's microphone is always nice and hot. So I'm I was really shocked. I'm, I, I apologize. You know, the worst thing about that is I what? took three takes from it, you know, to record it and it <laughs> sounded okay. And I uploaded it to YouTube and then I got a copyright strike on it. And oh. you still, you guys could still couldn't hear it. I really feel bad. So I'm sorry. What's not? Well, yeah. I mean, hey, I, I trust oh, me when I tell strong. you that I understand how YouTube. Well, it's not the strike that yeah. they put against your channel, right? It's the one where you have to. Sh they yeah. put ads, yeah. so right, right. It's a different. It's a difference oh. between the one where they like, well, we're just going to put ads on it, and you have to share the revenue. Yeah, so so. It, it's different from the one where it's like, okay, here's a strike, you're in trouble. Two more yeah. of these, and we will terminate oh, okay. your channel. Right. It wasn't one of those. It wasn't. No, one it wasn't one of those. But yeah, I, I did just what I would. Yeah, I would just say that I'm really sorry. Right. Okay, well, it's all good, man. I mean, it was the thought that count, man. <laughs> and if I can, I didn't get a chance to do it, but I'm if I can download it, download your video, I'll um run it through Cubase over here and I can probably try to turn up the volume. Uh because yeah. that's what I do with my tutorials anyway. After I finish, I run it through Cubase. Oh, is that what you do? Yeah, I separate the audio, I master my sound, and then I put that audio back to the video and then I upload it. So if I can take your video and try to master it, which means get it louder. And I could hear it, then I'll um I'll maybe on next week's stream I'll say here's his late uh birthday <laughs> message that he did get to me on time. He got hold it to on, me on time, on, on. just couldn't hear it. That's all. So yeah. But um, yeah, but but what I was saying is to everyone though, again, for the birthday thing, that was like um that was the first time I, I ever tried to arrange something for my birthday. I never do anything. So the fact that that was successful, that still touched my heart. Thank you, Brandy, for singing because I know you don't usually sing like that. And she just bust out and was like, Ooh, Happy birthday. Now, she didn't sing like that. But thank you, Brandy. I appreciate it. And everyone else, everyone else that participated in that uh, in any way, shape, or form, thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. And um, I think we're going to sign off. 
So everyone have a beautiful night. Look out on the community tab some point next week for the next poll question. All right. So we're waving to y'all. Bye. You Bye. Too. Bye. I'm clicking the button now. Bye. Bye, Bella. I got to click it again.